What up? Alright, so before we get started on this whole Volcano Manor thing, I need to see where this finger weapon is. I, I never got this thing. It's in Gelmir Hero's Grave, right? I want to see if there's like an, an actual way down this ramp, because I just don't believe that... I don't know, I just don't believe it, that you are supposed to roll down a ramp of lava. That makes no sense to me. Let's see. Oh my god, my message was appraised. Thank you. Juan, Mike, how are you guys? Why is it I say top chat? Let's do live chat. All right. Oh, you son of a bitch. I always forget that he does that. All right. See, I just like, I, I don't believe that the answer here I just don't I don't believe that the answer is just roll down the the lava forever. Like it just doesn't make any sense. Hey Scotch. Alright. Alright, so there's a there's an alcove over there. Let's check that out. Uh, one, yeah, probably. I mean, th this save file, I've already beaten the game, so. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm well over leveled, I think. Yeah, this just seems dumb to me. It doesn't follow you down here. I don't like this. Forgot to take the uh, forgot to take the dust cover off my PS5. I've done that so many times. That's really the whole way down here, huh? If you backstep, it's backstep. It's faster than rolling. Okay, that's good to know. Eh, this all seems dumb. I don't, I don't like it. It's, it's funny. People get angry about having to ride the chariot. I'm angry that you just roll down here. That doesn't make any goddamn sense to me. Oh, you're definitely right. Look at that. Oh, 
All right, where does this go? Ah. Oh shit, it goes right to the boss door. Get out of town. Wow. Okay. And then you can ride this back up. Huh. That's interesting. Wow, that's weird. What an interesting setup. Can I even use this thing? Is this thing even viable? What does this count as? Yeah, I, I've heard about doing uh, the Bloodhound step and all that. That's just weird to me. I don't know. I mean, the fact that the chariot doesn't follow you is good. Like, you're not trying to outrun the damn thing the whole time. I think that's good, but it's still weird. Okay. Bludgeon made of an enormous finger sheathed in several heavy rings. Thought to have been cut from an ancestor of the Finger Creeper. Those things are called Finger Creepers? Some life yet remains in this legacy of an ancient act of blasphemy, as evidenced by the barely perceptible warmth it still exudes. Alright. Bro, it's literally a finger. Is this... What is this? It's a hammer. <laughs> That's sick. It literally just flicks the finger. Oh, that's cool. Wow. What are the finger builds? What does that scale with? Strength dex? Strength dex. Okay. That's funny. That's really weird. Cool. Yeah, I never knew about that. Seen everybody. I've seen folks like rolling around with them, but I just never went and got it myself. Okay. Um, so, today's mission, or tonight's mission, I should say is we are going to do the entire quest line primarily for Dialos. I know that his ends in Jarberg, um, but he has a lot to do with Volcano Manor as well. So what I'd like to do is kick off Dialos' quest line, and then when he gets his invitation for Volcano Manor, I want to do Volcano Manor. So this will require us to kind of speed run through a little bit. Uh, we've got to do Stormvale and Academy of Rhea Lucaria. That's where we can get into the capital. I don't expect any problems, but that's just sort of what we're in store for. So let me do this. Let me uh, hide the game because I'm just going to go trigger an ending, and I don't want to spoil that for anybody. So let's transition to that. You get to look at my face. Hello. Um, actually, let me, let me respec real quick. What I'm actually going to do is, I'm oh my god, my hair is like a fucking mess. Jesus. There we go. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is, I'm actually going to back up my save at this point, because I have respect to the same character like 45 times. And I'm just tired of doing it. Straight up, I'm tired of doing this. Where's my character? There it is. 37 Vigor. 20 Mind. 26 Endurance. 40 Strength. 21 Dex. 17 Intelligence. 50 Faith. And 17 Arcane. Very good. Alright, let me... um. Let me back up my save real quick. Hey, Aaron. All right. Back up my save. Does anybody know, like, I know on PC it's completely possible, but on Xbox, can you back up multiple saves, or can you even back up a save to uh, to USB on an Xbox? Because this PS5 cloud-only one-save shit is killing me. It's really killing me.
All right. Uh, here, let me transition off just so I hide the endings. I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. The Chapel of Anticipation. Good night. Oh, so, okay, that's interesting. I think when you first start the game the very first time, you can't open the map at all. Either that or maybe it's totally blank. I think you can't open it at all, but now it actually shows you where you are. Branded graveyard. You always get frame drops there. It's strange. Hey, Joseph, how are you? <laughs> Alright, yeah, it's to total dead game. It's been replaced by Stranger of Paradise. What uh what are you playing on, Joe? PC, got it. All right, so now that we don't have to do Kenneth Height anymore, I feel like we can actually bust through this thing real fast. Oh, shit! There he is! Oh, my God. I didn't know he'd come through here. Whoa. Oh, no, Mark. I, there's so much stuff in this game that I still haven't done. Been looking forward to it. I, I've taken breaks, you know, like 12 hours here, 12 hours there. <laughs> but there's also nothing out that's even remotely interesting to me at this point. All right. Something I'm, I've been curious about for the past couple days is... Does Dialos appear anywhere in the world before you get to Round Table Hold? Same thing for uh, Korhin. Because 
I know D shows up. But I don't know about anybody else. Oh, fuck. God damn it, I totally forgot to level up my summon. Oh well. Oh, dude, that's definitely like a, a wall they meant to remove. I, yeah, Dialis does show up in Lyrania now. Like, he, he does show up there. I just mean anywhere in Limgrave. Like, anywhere prior. Is there a way to get him to show up beforehand? Yeah, I mean, there's there's like a bunch of walls. Oh god, all throughout. Um, oh my god, how am I doing both these things at the same goddamn time? Where is the shackle? Thank you very much. Oh, wow, what a perfect timing. The shackle wouldn't have worked after that. That's great. Wow. Whoops. Wrong button. I mean, I'm glad you're beating on Roger and not me, but, yo, leave him alone. Cool. Zack with Fire Giant. Um, my only real tip for Fire Giant, are you getting him to phase two, or do you need help in phase one still? No shade if you need help in phase one, he's tough, but. You there? C come over here, would you? you I, it's tightly guarded. Oh, tr 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 you'll breach the. Are we back? Everybody there? Hey. We back. I feel like the sandbags just eat that. Sorry, but that OBS crashed randomly. Oh, right, the other... I always forget about this side of grace up here. Wait, where is it? Ah! Dude, if you would just come down from your stupid little perch. You're so damn helpful.
All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run to um, Godric's side of grace, and then we're going to keep... I keep fucking forgetting about him. Oh, my God. We're going to run to Godric's side of grace, um, and then I'm going to warp back and do patches and Alexander. You know what's interesting? There's a ledge up there. Why is there a ledge up there? And like this feels like an elevator. Yeah, this seems like an elevator. Oh, thanks, Connor. Appreciate that. Yeah, it just seems like an elevator to me. But, whatever. You know what's a bit of a shame? Between the network test and the retail version, they nerfed sleep like fucking crazy. Like, sleep is pointless now. I really hate this jump. <laughs> yep, that's why. Hey, Toma. That was a good hitbox. Depending on who you ask, I guess. It works on Godskin Duo? Holy shit. That's OP. I mean, it's great. But yeah, they nerfed it like fucking crazy. Like, it's basically unusable now. Meanwhile, in, in the gameplay demo, they were like, Look, sleep, it's so sick. I'm just like, no, oh, never mind. <laughs> it's not even worth using. Ah, uh, Toma, yeah, this is New Game Plus. Oh! Dude, I was not paying attention. Okay. Wow, sleep on Godskin Duo. That's so smart. It really is so smart. Yeah, New Game Plus is pretty easy. Still a Godfrey? He's hard. Godfrey's no joke. If you do the Nefeli Luke quest line, you can summon her. Um, Tomai, you just jump. Oh, the skinny one's so much easier. That sucks. Oh, God. Jesus. Okay. Oh, I can't even level up. All right. Uh, Connor, yes, you have the option to no to go to New Game Plus. Um, so basically, um, 
yeah, so basically, like, you kill the final boss, and then you there a bonfire appears. You could light it, or a side of grace. You light it, and... Homegirl, you gotta... Like, you're way too chatty for me right now. Um, so, a side of grace appears. You can light it, and then you can teleport wherever you want. There's something in the final boss room that you touch, or you interact with it, and then you can select an ending. Um, so you can just literally light that side of grace and just bounce. You don't actually have to end the game after the final boss. You can just leave. Just, uh, yeah, Toma, absolutely. It's not if your armor is heavy. It's if your equipment load is heavy. So on the right-hand column here... Oh, I'm going to be blocking it. Hang on. All right, on the right-hand column here, towards the end, it says equip load 55.5 out of 93.8, medium load. If you have heavy load listed there, um, you'll roll a lot slower. Does jumping have iframes? I don't actually know. I just know that you can jump over certain attacks. I don't think jumping itself has iframes, though. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's do patches first, and then we'll do Alexander. Do bosses drop more runes on New Game Plus? They absolutely do, yes. Between New Game and New Game Plus 1, um, the, the spike is the biggest. So, like, I think the final boss drops literally 1 million souls on New Game Plus. The sight of grace is so random to me. Uh, two to dial, yes. So after you defeat Fire Giant, a sight of grace appears in the boss's arena. Going up towards the kiln, you can light that sight of grace. Oh, Jesus. Christ, you're chatty. Yes. Yes. Actually, shit, this kind of... Precludes me from answering my own question about Theolos. Um, so yes, like after Fire Giant, you can light a side of grace, or you can light the one up the kiln. But sitting at that one causes Melonet to talk to you, and I think you could back out of the conversation. But I just don't recommend it. Um, the only thing that that does is it sort of like changes the world a bit. Like that's kind of the thing. Um, it doesn't necessarily lock you out of certain endings, I don't think. But defeating Malaketh, which is the final boss of the next area, that absolutely locks you out of certain quest lines. So it's not a bad idea to do it all after Fire Giant. Dr. Ronchin. Rowanchin. Can't get the girl to show up with some more ruins for the needle quest. Round tables are already on fire. Any advice? Did you give her the prosthetic and then speak with her in the windmill village? Oh, Pat, you're welcome. Uh, Joseph, I don't think jumping has invincibility frames. I think you could just jump over certain attacks. I think that's all it does. Okay, what was the last thing you did with Millicent? And thank you for the $5, by the way. I appreciate that. You gave her the arm. Did you... Sp After you defeated the Godskin Apostle, she didn't show up in Windmill Village? Uh, two to dial, it's it's like a little bit of both. Um, 
I'm a little unclear if they were in the game but just bugged and not not able to be finished. Um, but they added one full NPC in the patch, so that's new. Um, is higher endurance better than vigor? I don't necessarily think so. I can't... I, don't, I would be, like, really shocked. Ooh, sh I forgot he could do this. Um, I would be thoroughly shocked if you're locked out of Millicent's questline. Especially considering... Bloody finger. The end is nigh. For you and Joseph's blood. What a name. It is strange to me that... Oh, God. I'm like trying to let Yura get in on this. Where the fuck is he? Oh, bro, you're the slowest samurai I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, I don't know. It, that's that's strange to me. Typically, defeating Malekith locks you out of progressing quest lines. Like that's that's kind of what I've noticed. But for Millicent specifically, that doesn't make sense because her quest line ends in an optional area, you know? Yeah, let's do this right, let's do this right, let's do this right. Mark, I think that's what he's saying. That That is Zamor Ruins. Is Shabriri at Zamor Ruins? I don't know if they can be there together. Although, if you defeat Malekith while Shabriri is in Zamor Ruins, he goes away. Uh, croissant, yes, they do. Only fear of death, really up to the player. I don't follow meta, really, I, I, I just don't. Roland, thank you for the really thought-provoking message, but uh, we're going to time you out for now. Huh. Robert, if you can't teleport out, I do think defeating gods can duo is, is the thing. Uh, Noah, they do, but not really that significantly. Really not significant. It's not as steep as like Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1. All right, let's go meet Patches. I think it's so cool there's fucking booby traps. Ah, damn it. Oh, they scale harder on Journey 3? I didn't know that. How are you alive?
Uh, Dakota, you keep, and you're welcome, uh, you keep basically everything except for key items. What does that breath do? Does Scarlet Rot? Wait, wait, please. I surrender. White flag and all. Well, finally come round, have you? <laughs> I knew you would. You're a man of reason. True and true. <laughs> ah, well, what do you know? You're tarnished like me. Now, now, how did I get that wrong? I took you for a demi-human or some such. <laughs> but an innocent mistake, I assure you. Well, water under the bridge. No problem, Rowan Jim. Nicholas, glad to hear it. Thank you very much. Is the untethered, tarnished like you, only free spirited, nomadic, you might say. Only for now, those retired soldiers turned bandits, and oh, they're paying for my gruel in exchange for my well, showing them the ropes. But honestly, uh, two to dial, it's like before the chain. Frankly, I'm ready that's to the best I can. It's hard to see, it is, but it's there. Set up a legitimate shop, so don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> Don't forget to pop back for another visit, friend. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. Toma, it's hard for me to say either way, just because of like the way. Like, it's not that it's good for Vagabond or not. The starting classes are largely meaningless. Like, you could just. Like, you can make any class to any class, you know what I mean? So, it it just depends on your play style, really. What do you like to do? I will say the Grafted Greatsword, or whatever, is very good. It's a really good weapon. But in terms of, like, what class it's good for, that's that's up to you. The, the starting classes are just that. They're starting classes. Right into the meat grinder. I'd love to see it. Oh, dude, that fight was so sick. Wow, everybody's dying of patches. Well, nice of you to drop in finally. It's all a bit ad hoc, but I'm sure you'll find something. And welcome to Patches Emporium, where you won't need a refund. Everything's top notch. Yeah, I had those bandits make a clean break. Now they're all suppliers, and good ones are that. I mean, they don't understand a word I'm saying, but it hardly matters. We have a natural connection. <laughs> they're all foot soldiers, survivors of a defeated army, worked to the bone by their high and mighty lord. Only to be thrown out with the rubbish. <sighs> it's the same old story everywhere I go. Bah, to hell with it all. Hmm. Wondering what's inside the treasure chest. Well, it's a... Nothing too special. Just something I'm saving as thanks for a very valuable customer. But then again... It would fetch some spectacular coin. And besides, this valuable customer could be a long time coming. Huh? Everything is give and take. Give and take. 
All right, that's it on that. Cheers for that. All right, let's do the thing. Five foot hacks, you invaded someone during a boss fight. What boss? I should have known. You scheming little thief. You scheming little thief. You guys think we could uh, do this first try? Oh, I thought he sent us to the to the mine. Wait, wait, were you fighting Malekith or were they fighting Malekith? The bears in this game are tough. All they're trying to do is get some picnic baskets and, you know, they don't take kindly to you trying to, you know, fuck their day up. Which, hey, I mean, it's understandable, you know? I think it's understandable. Somebody asked about the, um... They were fighting... That's so weird. I know you can invade during field bosses, but actual bosses in arenas, that's crazy. Um, somebody asked before about the Knight Cavalry, how to fight the Knight Cavalry. Uh, could you be more specific? Just because there's quite a few of them. Um, okay. So that's patches. Oh, I have to rest at this. Back to patches. Get scolded. Pole blade. Oh, um, Eleanor's pole blade. I haven't used that yet. It looked cool, though. Damn, I really thought I avoided that. This is the briar armor. Well, that was that was a reach. Yeah, I'm using the briar armor. Ah, oh, why in? You're alive. Oh, you had me proper scared, puffing away in a flash like that. Well, maybe it's a sign to keep your mitts off what's not rightly yours. Hmm? But I'll forgive you. View it as a learning experience. At any rate, it's just nice to see you safe. Well, don't miss all the bargains here at Patches Emporium. <laughs> okay. Cheers for that. Yeah, so this is the briar armor that you get. Uh, so after you defeat the boss of this little dungeon here, the Shaded Castle... After you defeat the boss there, you can visit the finger reader, Enya, in Round Table Hold, and she sells the armor. Okay, so that's patches. Let's go get Alexander now. Yeah, only fear of death. The map is, is just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I do wish you could turn off the icons, though. Like, I think that'd be kind of cool. But it is nice. I, I would love to get this printed out and, and, like, hang it on a wall. Alexander, right. I forgot what I was doing.
Oh, Tane, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I just remembered an old joke from uh, Tim and Eric. Tane, thanks for thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Oh, talking to the War Master is a good idea for Volcano Manor because he shows up there too. Um, if you go on go on YouTube and look up Nude Tane, I think it might be T A N E, but it's it's a Tim and Eric skit with uh, Paul Rudd. It's so, so good. Celery Man, that's right. Not seen you before. Name's Bernard. Tarnished, just, just like, like you. you. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the land? Celery Man, yeah, I totally fight. forgot. Does your faith in the guidance of grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? Yes, you're a tarnished through and through. Takes me back. But that's a quality needed now more than ever. Why don't you punch up the 3D, 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 3D? The torch of my battle arts. All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Oh, Raul, I gotta look into that. Pass them on to a good and proper tarnished like you. There's a myriad of battle arts in these lands that I've yet to discover. Mementos of all the warriors who raised their arms in battle, lost and died. A fine tale, all told of true chivalric romance. That's how I fell in love with the sword and the arts of combat. It grants meaning even to falling in battle, to death itself. I wish it would tell you if you already own them. to see you safe here to learn a battle art or two well <laughs> i love him. paul rod goes oh shit i'm okay <laughs> like he just totally rubs brushes it off i'm okay <laughs> oh my god incredible absolutely incredible peak comedy right there peak comedy doesn't get any better. It doesn't from the shop screen. Hello. Can you hear me? Help me. I'm stuck. Hello. <laughs> Can I get a flargen style? Fucking totally random. This skit is absurd. I would like... There we go. Can you hear me? 
Help! Oh, my stars! I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? My thanks, a thousand thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear with something nice and big. And I'll pop clean out, I'm sure. Don't dally. Uh, there's no need to fret. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. He's very well trained, but stuck in a in a dirt mount. Felt the end of me. <laughs> ah. Well, I'm out now, and that's what counts. I thank you. And as a token of my appreciation, I'd like you to have this. Once again, excuse me. I am the warrior jar known as Alexander. Uh, Gatekeeper 684. I keep restoring my save just to kind of, um, like doing different quest lines in different orders. So I've I've only completed New Game Plus. I haven't gone to New Game Plus two, but I've completed New Game Plus like seven or eight times. I'm heading eastward to Redmayne Castle on the southern edge of the scarlet, rot blighted Caelid Wilds. I've heard there's to be a festival held there. All right. Just reading about Redmayne Castle and the triggers. All right, so we have Alexander started. We haven't spoken with Dialos yet. Oh, Drake, I'm so glad to have been helpful to you. Let's go speak with Diallos. Connor, I didn't actually know that about the uh, mausoleums. Ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm, well, just call me Diallos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment and she's good as gone. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young woman named Lanya. She's a servant to my house. She's been my companion since childhood. I've okay. lost count of the number of times I've had to find her like this. Honestly, she's such a little tomboy. Be sure to tell me if she's a servant. Great. She's been like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, Gatekeeper. I'm sure you're not the only one. When Dark Souls 3 came out, playing the Japanese version, Roll was on X. So when the American version came out, I switched it for a while because I was just so used to it. Hey, Daniel. Nice. Good for you, ma'am. Uh, Drake, so this... I'm doing several quest lines all at once. That's... It's kind of the, the deal here. Um, yeah, I'm doing several quest lines at once. The 
Volcano Manor is primarily what I'm doing, though. Uh, I, right now, I'm just thinking, do I want to go to Redmain Castle, fight the double boss? No. Let's go kill... Let's go kill uh, Godric. Yeah, let's kill Godric. Although, let's... Let's actually make it a lot easier on ourselves. I forgot to level up my Spirit Summon before going to New Game Plus. Patch's questline got... Um, it got extended. He now appears in the Shaded Castle. But I think it ends there now. But uh, that is... I am going to be including that in this. Um, most OP weapon, I, honest to God, really think the Moonlight, or the Dark Moon Greatsword is probably the strongest. Like, watching people do intellect runs with that thing, it's, it's amazing how much damage, oh Jesus, it's amazing how much damage that thing does. It, it really is remarkable. I'm just gonna move, uh, Roderica along this way I can level up my, uh, my Spirit Summon. Um, I know the Blasphemous Blade is something a lot of people like using. Sword of Night and Flame got nerfed, but I think it's still pretty strong. But yeah, ever since Arcane got patched and, you know, enabled, basically, <laughs> um, people have been going for that. That's the one from Ronnie's Quest, yeah. Jesus, would you die? Thank you so much. Combat? Is Rivers of Blood a, a weapon art? Oh, Connor, there's a lot of mausoleums, so just, I mean, duplicate what you like. Um. I'm trying to think. Yeah, Mog is Mog stuff is really good. Rivers of Blood is a weapon. What kind of weapon? Creep my name isn't this a round table? I never knew, although I'm still looking. Oh, please allow for giving me that. It was as if you have my. So I, I really wish you could do something with the golden seeds that you pick up. Wait. Right. Okay, that's him. You can be the anime. Where do you get it? Is it a boss weapon? I'm still looking. If your dad don't believe, if I do, I suppose I'll ask my certainly. I know he. I can tell. I really wish they put Sekiro parrying in this game. That would have been really cool. NPC drops it. Oh, is it the guy up in the mountains? I have it then. No matter, it's all the same. Green, 
Man, I totally guessed it needing 75,000. That was lucky. I really should, like, do a real build. Oh, you actually have to speak with her in order to get to summon her. I didn't know that. Yeah, Hugh and Roderica, they're the, they just stay. Like, you can't get them to leave. Oh, someone asked me um, last week. It seems like, or they said, like, it seems like Hugh's quest line is incomplete. Um, because, oh, shit. Uh, saying that Hugh's quest line seemed incomplete because, um, because he, he doesn't get to craft a weapon to kill the gods. He actually does. Um, the ancient dragon smithing stones which allow you to level up to plus 25, uh, actually say that it's capable of crafting a weapon to slay a god or something like that, so. Yeah, I, f I thought it was strange that he forgets. I, I thought that was very strange. But yeah, it says, the ancient dragon lord's seat is said to lie beyond time. This stone lightly twists time, allowing the creation of a weapon capable of slaying a god. So, that, that's sort of the idea. Oh, and I guess these are Placidia Sax's scales. But anyway, that's so his uh his quest line does end. Drake, you find them all over the end game. The game is incredibly generous with them. Like in new game like I have seven of these left over, you know. Connor, good luck, man. She is difficult. Oh, shit. I don't have enough mana to summon this fucking thing. Oh, well. I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way. Although, I have no Feli with me, so that's helpful. I love his laugh. It's so good. Yeah, there's a couple up there by the fire giant. There's a couple up there. They're in the skulls in the mountain that you can uh, walk into. They're in there. I shouldn't have drank. I can't get in on them now. No, oh, never mind. I love his laugh, man. It's so sinister. It's so good. Oh, forgot about this move. I did like no damage. I expected a jump. You kill him and get another one? Bullshit. Oh, she's fucking dead. I am the Lord of all that is. Yeah, and Nefelius actually gives you two. Uh, Thomas, this is New Game Plus. So Nefeli hands you one at the end, but then you can also buy one from Gostock. 
for a 25,000 or 20,000. Yeah, it gets added to Gostock's um, inventory. When I gave him eight, he disappeared. Or, yeah, when you give him the final one, he disappears. Okay, he does give you one. I couldn't remember. I should really do a, a video on all nine locations. Forrest Tischler, I have no idea. That sounds fucking cool though. I don't know. If it's God skin, I'm trying to think of any anything related to God skin. Could try inner order, golden order. Those, you know, sometimes do it. Reverential bow, maybe something. Could be fire spermy. Although I think that is. I think fire spermy is more frenzied flame. Where is Stormvale Dungeon? It's right here. To get to Stormvale, just follow the Sights of Grace, the direction that they're pointing in, and you'll get to it. Oh, Forrest, thank you. It's very possible that it's a troll. I haven't heard anything about it. I feel like that's something that would have made Twitter. But I don't know. Erudition solves two puzzles. So I don't know. It It's possible. It's completely possible. I kind of want to do something right now. I want to do something on... I want to create a stream alert. Oh, Forrest. That, it's a tough fight. It's absolutely tough. I really want to create a stream alert with that sound. And I just had the idea for the image, too. Um, it's the most balanced. I actually think Rykard is kind of the best one. It gives you the most health. Melania's is pretty broken. Uh, yes, this is New Game Plus. Uh, Melania's is pretty busted. It's not busted. It just gives you Rally from Bloodborne, so when you get hit, you can restore health. It's not really busted or anything. 
Uh, I like right cards a lot. I would like to know how Mogs is meant to be used. Oh, I, I did Radigan in a couple hours. Melania took me three fucking days. Okay. Um, all right, we, we have kind of two choices here. We can go to Diallos, who is in Academy Gate Town, or we can do Patches Rhea. Is her name Rhea? Whatever her name is. Blackguard Rhea. And then I think we'll do that. You know, I actually feel like Melania's Rune plus, like, a high poise build would be really good. Like, just being able to tank a lot of hits, and then once you land something with, like, a colossal weapon or something, you know, it's just, like, you get all the health back. That could be cool. Alright. Scenic Isle, I think, is... That's Boil Prawn. I think Scenic Isle is, like, right here. Could be right here. Whatever, we'll find it. Radigan's AoE explosions are, are a little tricky. They're cool looking, but they can take you by surprise pretty easily. Oh, yeah, I know. So, I saw Vadi's video today. I saw a part of it. Apparently, healing these guys is, like, the way to go. Like, they're all cursed. Oh, God. Please rest. Please rest. Please rest. Oh, God. Thank you. As far as the story is concerned, do you have a favorite ending? Uh, Ronnie's is up there. And Lord of Frenzied Flame, for sure. But Ronnie's is absolutely up there. Um, what did I want to do? Spell. Yeah, here, like, check this out. That's fucking awesome. I, I just did not, I don't know of a single enemy in Soul's history that, like, you could do that. So cool. Find the Albanoric woman hiding in a cave west of the Laskia ruins. Hey, John, how are you, dude? It's a weird time of day. It's foggy as shit over here. Jesus. All right, patches is going to be over here. Could you? I I could be totally wrong. I've just never, never. I never thought of it in, in Souls games. That, that was always like such like an old JRPG thing to me, like a Final Fantasy thing. Oh, nice. What were you streaming? Oh, nice, nice, nice. What were you reviewing this week? Yep. 
Yeah, we desperately need to change this time of day. This is too much. I feel like we're in Los Angeles smog over here. This is this is incredible. There we go. the untethered i'm still in business if you can believe it now i'm my only supplier so i haven't got much but everything here is top notch patches emporium now open in rea lucaria by the way uh, have you met that girl raya she's a strange one but i believe she was in need of help not that it's any of my business yeah tremulatone it is strange. So, like, do they crawl all the way to uh, <laughs> to the helix tree? Like, is that what they do? They crawl the entire way? You're making your way to the Erd tree, no? Well, I heard something that might help. A special means of reaching your destination. Have you ever seen an iron virgin? The clunky contraptions are whirlwinds of sickles and spiked wheels. But long ago, they were endowed with a spell of transposition. And get this, a surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Red. How do they get down to Mog? That's a question. Well, they could have taken the portal. So right. You know, there's nothing there's nothing saying that we are the only ones who can take portals. There's that. He could have teleported them. Electo's pretty tough. Hey, Clash. So, um I'm going to I'm going to gripe here for a second. I'm going to gripe here for a second. Elden Ring wiki. I'm going to gripe here for a Okay, we're back. My gripe is that on Fextra Life, they call them pendulum statues, but Patches right here says Iron Virgin, and then there's a boss fight with two of them where they're called Abductor Virgins. So I don't know where the hell they got pendulum statue from. I, I don't get it. Kills me. Kills me. Okay, now we gotta find Raya, who I think is like right over here. I think this is her right here. Yeah, I mean, look. People are contributing to the wiki. They're doing their thing. It just feels like consistently Fextra Life is just always wrong. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, they, they swing a pendulum. They are a statue. I just don't know where they got the name from. And there's, like, a description, too. So, like... That makes me even more curious. Like, are they actually called pendulum statues somewhere in the game? I just, I've, I haven't seen a single reference to it. I don't know.
Huh. Where the hell is she? She's in one of these little towers. Tower next to the telescope? Uh, yeah, it's right here. It's this one. Oh, it's literally right next to where Patches was. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. accosted by a ruffian and now i'm in a bind could i ask you lend a hand perhaps that fuck made off with a precious necklace i need someone to i thought you just said that fuck made off with me. the <laughs> he too is tarnished if you've any qualms confronting oh tremulous own how i shall find another oh thank you dearly what a blessing that we've met like this. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. Info on Loretta's helmet? Okay. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home, please. I don't think I have it. I don't think I bought it. I'll uh I'll buy it once I go back. Oh wait, will she have it? I would have to beat her again in order for her to have it, right? Bro, Patches is you know, he's just he's got a he's like a traveling gypsy, you know, he's gotta set up shop wherever people are. It's his deal, man. Oh, outdoor Corian friends. So glad to have helped. Thanks for joining. Uh, Lunazar, I don't think anybody's found him yet, if anywhere. Mm. All right. Take it. Things no damn use to anyone anyway. Your bloody idea, mate. Don't come crying to me later. Oh, piss off. What is it now? Oh, I see. You want some of me prawn? Freshly cooked it is. All right then. It's yours. If you can meet your price, I could be persuaded to sell you some other bits too. If you've got the runes. Oh. So you met the girl, did you? All right, well. 
Matt, yes, he goes to... Um, I'll show you on the map, but he does move. Too, ain't you? Can you see it then? The guidance of grace, I mean. I can't see it at all no more. Makes no bloody sense anyway. Why some no name shithead like me should get called to the lands between. Cruel bloody joke, you ask me. Maybe something went tits over it. Maybe it's been broke for a good long time. The earth tree, I'm saying. Never met someone with a taste for brawn or trust. We'd make good mates, I reckon. I'll be seeing you. So, Matt, he goes, like, right here, I believe, in this moat. Pretty sure it's this one. If it's not this one, it's this one. But I'm, like, 99% sure it's this one. He's actually cooking prawns again. North side? Is it this? It's one of these. It's in this area. Is it this? Yeah, this one right here. Yeah, Somewhere in there. Um, okay. Let's go back to Raya. Let's see if Patches has anything to say about Blackguard, though. To Patch's Emporium. No. Cheers for that. All right, John. should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. Oh, yes. That is my missing necklace. Thank you kindly. I am in your debt. Did I forget to announce myself? I am Raya, in the service of Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor. I seek stalwart tarnished who might join our house. You are very brave yourself. Not only a steady hand, but a steady heart. Merciless, even to your own kind. Such strength is precisely what my mistress seeks. Please, take this. Brave tarnished, seek the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. Most tarnished. I think it's worth duplicating for Rykard if you're doing Dex Faith. Peering wistfully at the towering Erd tree, but you are no ordinary tarnished. And once that is proven, the Volcano Manor will fully extend its invitation to fight amongst a family of champions. Oh, and one more thing, only for you. This land of Liernia is connected to the Altus Plateau by the Grand Lift of Dectus, beyond the High Road. But the lift has been defunct for an age, meaning there's no simple means of passage. Instead, you must seek the old ruins in the cliff, at the base of the valley, near the Grand Lift. There's an old tunnel. It was excavated from both ends, linking Liernia to the Altus Plateau. I have faith in you, a champion through and through. I do hope that we can meet again. Seek the old ruins in the cliff at the base of the valley near the ground. It was ex- I have faith in you. I do hope. I know the story behind her. 
but she just looks so fucking weird. <laughs> like she looks so strange. Um, Lunanzar, no, this is not my full time job. Just a side gig. I wouldn't even call it a gig. I just like doing it. All right. All right, so that's that. Now let's go see Dialos, who should be somewhere over here. Yeah, Corey, I agree. I agree. She totally does. Uh, what do I do otherwise? I work for uh, for Riot Games in their uh, Scholastic Esports team. So I do like uh, esports operations for college and uh, high school esports for League of Legends, and then we're starting up Valorant this year as well. Like over here. I know he's on a random roof somewhere. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. Where did he go? Who's. Oh, oh we fucking stumbled right on. <laughs> That's so funny. I was looking at the chat. Uh, who's my favorite champion? My favorite champion uh, would definitely be Riven. I don't really play League of Legends, though. I don't play her at all. Or I don't play at all. I haven't in years. Um, yeah, but it, it would be Riven. I played her a lot back in the day. Oh, Corey. Nice, dude. Good luck. Tell me if you know, would you? The whereabouts of the hidden house of those despicable fiends. The recusants who hunt their fellow tarnished. They laid hands upon Z, yes you do. Hot girls and boys, welcome back. Hot girls and boys, welcome back. Of house Hoslo is told in blood. I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I refuse to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. Oh, her face is hidden by a brick. That's not very helpful. It's not very conducive, you know? Not very conducive to video making. Her face is like in the floor. Okay, so that's that. Um, let's do this now. Raul, I think so, As at least as of right now. He does automatically go there. So, I guess it's probably the end. And at, at the very end, he leaves behind his armor, so I think I do think that's it. Um, I don't know, Gatekeeper. I'm, the, I'm a very competitive person by nature, so I kind of, like, have to stay away from it. Um... Like, I, not that I get toxic, I definitely don't. I don't even talk when I play, but I just get very, like, annoyed with myself and, you know, other teammates and whatnot. Um, so I really don't play unless, like, coworkers ask me to play, like, you know, in a random pickup game or something, but, yeah. I, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't tell anybody to stay away from it. I think it's a good game. 
I actually started playing Valorant a little while ago for work, and I've been digging that. Uh, Chrome, I have not completed this this quest, no. I, uh, I grew up playing Quake, so, like, arena shooters are really what I like, and that's where I thrive. I thrive in, like, 1v1 environments. I'm not a good team player with competitive games. If I'm playing with friends, it's fine. But, like, if I'm playing with randoms, I get very frustrated. I don't ever talk. Like, I'm not a toxic player or anything like that, but... I would just rather play 1v1. Apex is cool. I liked Apex a lot when it first came out. I never played the new map, though. Maybe I played it once or twice. But I, I don't ever play it anymore. Uh, Toma, I have platinumed it. I actually got the platinum on stream two weeks ago, I think. Nice. Paladin build is fun in this game. Faith is pretty strong. I'm just going to go make a cup of coffee, so I'll be in and out for a second, but be right back. So did everybody have a uh, good St. Patty's Day? <laughs> Luna and yeah, man, I don't go to bed till like three, four in the morning. So
Uh, Matt, yes, but only after like putting my own sign down, I think. Or something like that. Yeah, you can play the entire game offline for sure. 100%. All right. Ah, you again, is it? The recusant sent a lucky. Can you believe they invited me to join them? Now, after what they did, I can scarcely believe it myself. Did they think me a fool? You might be surprised to learn I took them up on the offer. Then they only had to ask. The location of the recusant hideout. It's on Mount Gelmir, found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. Just you wait, wretched recusants. You'll rue the day you insulted my name by laying hands on Lanya. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. It's on Mount Gelmir, found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. Just you wait, wretched recusants. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. So I'm wondering if they send Homegirl. Like, I'm wondering if Raya is the one that kills Lanya. Because, like, they're not too far, you know? Like, Lanya's, Raya's right here. Lanya's right here. Or, or it's Patches. Although Patches doesn't really kill people. Patches like brings people to death <laughs> you know <laughs> like he traps them and then picks their corpses so i don't know i don't know lunan you're right lunan are you are correct he does. He does. Hello again. Welcome to Patch's Emporium. Uh, H U six A. No, you don't. Oh yeah. Great story. If there's a surviving, and I. <laughs> Cheers. Riot does not seem like a hostile type. You're. You're absolutely correct. And she's gone. All right. It could be Patches, because he knows how to get to Volcano Manor. Well, no. He tells us a shortcut to the Erd Tree. 
unclear if he knows that it's going to bring us to Volcano Manor. I love that everybody pointed that out to me. Like, I had no idea that he was just leaving. I thought he was dying super fast. But the fact that he leaves is so funny. That's so fucking funny. Um, okay. He could be tricking you to go to Volcano Manor. He could, but... I don't know, it wouldn't necessarily be a trick, right? Like, Raya just invites us. Like, she gives us an invitation flat out. Maybe. But the thing is, is like, where that puts you in Volcano Manor, speedrun tricks notwithstanding, you can't get into Volcano Manor. Uh, Lunans are, I don't actually know. I've never completed the Volcano Manor questline. Corey, where the hell does he appear again? I didn't know that. Holy fuck, he pushes you down a cliff in this game? Son of a bitch! Okay, well I guess we're not taking the shortcut then. That's fucking hilarious. That's so good. I'm gonna say this right now, this is gonna suck with that Black Knife Teak. Maybe I should go level up uh, Blue Tail. Ah, that's fine, I can do it. Yeah, Corey, we're definitely going to follow the rest of the quest. I didn't know that. The last time, like, in my main playthrough, he just showed up at Volcano Manor, and I thought that was it. Very true, very true. According to the wiki, though, it seems that um, if you take the teleport route to Volcano Manor, it, he goes away. Or he, he won't show up there or something like that. So that's probably why I, I didn't see him. Yeah, Lance, I did, uh, I did that as well. I did that climb and fought... The full-grown falling star beast, which is 
I think I hate that boss more than I hate Godskin Duo, frankly. Oh, you're kidding me. Yeah, yep. Now I'm like, I'm really fucked. Oh, get off, you assholes. I gotta say, that is that is a cool run up the mountain, though. That's really fun. Yeah, no, I know, I know you can skip it, but I, I couldn't do that. Hey, Asado. I, I couldn't bring myself to do that. All right, I need, what, 132? To summon Teak? I would just rather do this quickly and not have to suffer. I feel like I, I paid my, my dues here. 132. Eleven points. Okay. Never mind. Dragon King, how are you? Yeah, hey, Seda, we started another New Game Plus run. Whoa. Well, let's fucking take a chill pill over here. The best girls in the world? Wow, best girls in the world. Is Nightbot gonna take care of that? There we go. Oh, Itbiddle. Congratulations on killing her, man. That that is a a serious feat of strength. Look at that timing. Who's better than me? I should not have said anything. That This is what I get. This is what I get for talking that shit. I shouldn't have said anything. I talked mad shit. Now the Red Wolf Eradigan is just gonna fucking murder me. That's what I get. That's what I guess why you don't say anything until they're dead. Hot Girls and Boys was here earlier, Hiseido. You missed him. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Bro, it's classic. It's classic. It's classic. Who's better than me? Dead. Chrome, I meant to. I meant to, Chrome. I just forgot to respect properly before I started New Game Plus. I fucked up. I am gonna open the shortcut door just because I don't know if I'm gonna make if I'm gonna be able to do Renala in one try. Uh, you actually have to fight Malekith. It's a mandatory boss. You can't beat the game without killing him. So I would say yes, he's worth it. <laughs> no. Oh, I forgot you can get up here. 
See ya. Yeah, that's true. The evolution, you're right. Th that door does kind of force you in into killing things. Um. Oh, thank you, Chrome. I appreciate that. The sad truth is that I don't really PvP. That's really the sad truth. So, like, I can't suggest anything. I don't know what's meta. Like, I don't know how meta is determined. I am a pure PvE person. I'm like that in pretty much every game I play. I love getting invaded, and I do like, you know, occasionally invading other people. But I couldn't tell you what, what's good and what's not. I really have no idea. Dude, when I got to phase two on this boss the first time, I could not believe what I was looking at. I couldn't believe it. Yo, is she not gonna summon? Wow, I've never seen that before. Dude, I've healed her like seven or eight times, and she is always summoned. Oh, Chrome, thank you. Yeah, I I have PvP before. I'm just like not... I like I can't keep up with meta. I can't keep up. It's just like it, my brain just like is not interested enough. That's really the problem. Uh, I need 132, so there we go. Probably dropped to 20 endurance. I think that's fine. Wow, I I guessed. I did not think that was a perfect number. I do like PvP though. I, I I get like excited when people invade me. Uh Lunan, yeah, I although I don't know what I'm gonna do next. I have no clue. Uh, I I couldn't tell you what I'm gonna do next. Is there a limit? There's a certain amount of larval tiers, I think, in each playthrough. I think there's like 12 or 13 or 11 or something like that. So technically there's a limit, but not really. Um, okay, Mount Gelmir. In order to get to Mount Gelmir, we need to go up the Grand Lift. Okay, for the sake of what we're doing right now, which is the quest line. And for the sake of recording footage, I'm going to take the long way. If you if you haven't spoken to Yura, does his invasion signs show up here? Just curious. No, it doesn't. Interesting. Um... I'm going to take the long way. Yeah, I, I, I could get abducted and show that for patches, but primarily I'm trying to show for Raya, Raya, whatever. I 
I still haven't played Kingsfield. Or Shadow Tower was one of their other games, right? I haven't played those. You found it by accident? Wow. I, I, I found patches like nor like I found him both times. So I, when he told the story, I oh fuck. That's this is what I was looking for. When he told the story, I remembered. But wow, yeah, that that would be pretty cool finding that on accident. Yeah, there's a night cavalry there. I don't think I've ever found one in Lane Dell. But there is one there. I haven't found one in Kalid. Fifty-three hours still haven't found patches. Damn. Oh, Hisato. The reason I love the Scythe in Dark Souls One is because the move set is so strange. It it like really messes people up in that game. There is one in Kaled. Okay. I never killed that one. There we go. You aggroed both at the same time? Jesus. I could not imagine doing that. Although, does the dragon attack the Night Cavalry? Actually, let's make this a little bit more cinematic than that. Let's do this. Yeah, I would have ran too. That that's a little too much for me. God, fuck off. My soda bread is four days old and it's brittle as hell, so I got crumbs all over the place here. Still really good, though. Where does Elden Ring rank for me in the Souls games? I think Dark Souls 1 is still number one. I think we got Dark Souls 1, Bloodborne, and Demon Souls are tied for me, and then Elden Ring is right under that. What I will say, though, is, like, before Elden Ring, like, the order was the same, right? Like, it was Dark Souls 1, followed by Bloodborne and Demon Souls. And then, like, Dark Souls 3 was, like, not a distant third. I like Dark Souls 3 a whole lot. But it just, like, really nothing was close to those three games for me, like... Dark Souls 1 has the best world. Bloodborne has the best style and the best combat. Demon Souls is what started it all and has like the most ideas in a way. Like it it's like the kitchen sink of of the series. It's like anything they could think of made it into that game. And then 
like Dark Souls 3 was just like, yeah, it's a very solid game and it's the best iteration of Souls. Like everything works really well, but the world isn't as strong. The characters aren't as strong. The story isn't as strong. Um, but like Elden Ring is like, oh God, it's like, it's fucking up there, man. Like it's, it's such a good game. Yeah, the, the worlds of 1 and 3 are very tied together. That Anne Orlando reveal moment is pretty nuts. I don't know where I would put Sekiro on the list, though. Like, Sekiro definitely has... I just find Sekiro to be so different that I don't really put it in the list. Hello? There we go. Trick weapons in, in Elden Ring would have been fucking OD. That would have been so crazy. This is risky. This is really risky. I don't care about the poison, I care about getting knocked off. Alright, we're good. Why do the bats sing? It's only the mothers that sing. Um, somebody translated it. It's Latin. It's like, not great Latin. One hit? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh god. Oh, we're fucked. All right, we got it. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so it's like bad Latin. It's not... Um, I, f I forget... Somebody uploaded a video. I don't think it was Mordecai. Was it Vadi? Somebody uploaded a video of of the fight or of of the song translated. They reached out to some people. Who uploaded that? It was Mordecai. Okay. Ooh. Oh, God, I can't, I cannot stand these fucking things. These are, without a doubt, my least favorite bosses. I, I fucking hate these things so much. I still have heavy roll. I have no idea what's fucking going on. Why do I have heavy roll? Oh, is it because I lowered my uh, my endurance or something? Anyway. I mean, Black Knife Teak just took care of this boss for me. I did nothing this whole time, and I, I don't feel bad about it. Way to go, Teak. Great job, buddy. You're a badass woman, Teak. I swear to God. Um... What's screw body? He's a thief. Ah, I mean, he apologized. He hasn't done it in a long time. Everybody fucks up. I'll say that. I got nothing against him. Um, yeah, it was the equip load thing. There we go. Back on mid roll. Um, what's my favorite area? I don't know. I mean, Great Hollow is probably one of the craziest moments in a video game I've ever experienced. Ash Lake is a touch disappointing, though. The 
favorite area. I think Vadi like took someone's like writing or something. I really have no idea. I I can't pretend to know. All right, I definitely have footage of speaking with Homegirl up here, so I'm not going to actually speak with her. I know Lanciax shows up. Which scared the shit out of me. First time. Hello. Yeah. Uh, Lan <laughs> Lunans are... I that Happy Souls is one of my favorite animations. I love Happy Souls. Buddy! I... Love Happy Souls so much. Wait, doesn't she show up here? There she is, okay. All right, so what I'll do. Boss weapons! Yep, right down the road. Fucking <laughs> nine hours later, you find her. <laughs> right down the road. Fucking nowhere close to where you are. Right down the road. Get out of here. Orn effects. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, that game. Still, Happy Souls Happy Souls makes me so happy. It's one of the best, most heartfelt things ever. I've been waiting for you. I knew you had the stuff of champions. I hereby invite you to the vault. Okay, I'm li I'm walking away from her on purpose. I have footage of, of going that route already, so we'll leave that. Boss weapons! Orgolog, good to see you, man. Yeah, right car is fucking creepy. No way around that. I'm still thinking favorite location in the whole series. Great Hollow is a great moment. And it's, I mean, you, there's a literal Great Hollow moment in this game, too. Um, i trying to think. Ringed City is up there. Ringed City is up there. I don't know they can shoot you from here. Ring City is 150% up there. Oh, fuck. Light it, light it, light it. We out. Um. Damn. You f asshole. I don't know, man. Jesus, look at the blood stain. Blood stains on the carpet. Um Shit, I don't know. It's hard because Elden Ring is so fresh. And like I really feel like this game reveals its areas like no other game I've ever played before. Like when you like when I just came out of the out of the lift from the ruined strewn precipice, like yeah, it's just like whoa, like here we are in Altus Plateau, like cool, you know, it, it's very very fun, or it, yeah, it's fun. Like I, I think this game reveals its areas very nicely. 
I don't know, like... Dark Souls 1, like, does have the strongest world. Really trying to think, though. Getting to Anorlando is definitely the moment where you're like, oh, shit. Like, damn, this game. Okay. Yeah, where does this go? Where does this teleporter bring you to? I don't think I've ever took it. Oh, Schieffer River. Yes. Yes. Schieffer River was like, that broke my brain. Oh, it's the other side of the bridge? That's weird. Oh, right, okay. I was like, who is that? <laughs> Brian, I had the same reaction. Like, okay, I'm getting the shit kicked out of me. Should I leave? <laughs> oh, if we're talking... If we're including Bloodborne, 100% Castle Kanehurst. 100%. Kanehurst wins. Fatality. All right, so Patches is over here. Painted World, yes. Uh, Cloud, it, it depends. It depends on, like, what you're trying to do. Um, if you still have quests you'd like to do, although at that stage of the game, you're kind of locked out of a bunch of quests. Um, but it's really up to you. If you've done all the dungeons, if you've done everything you want to do, go for it. You'll be able to clear New Game Plus very, very quickly. First Mount Gelmir campfire okay that sort of helps I'm not very familiar with Gelmir whoa yo I landed dude I landed on that gravestone uh, Corey, it should let you post the link. I have the, the, the wiki up, though. Dude, that was some bullshit. That was disappointing. Come on, you, you can do better, Elden Ring. Although, I mean, that bug is the indicator of where you need to start. That's fair. That's fair. The bug is the indicator. That's fine. I actually never found the cat ring. Where is that thing?
favorite boss? It might be Gale or Artorius. Orphan, though. So many. So many. The bottom of the academy. Really? <laughs> Hogwarts at the bottom. <laughs> Hogwarts, baby. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, so... Let's do this. Let's show how we're getting here. This way, I feel like it could be a little confusing to know how to get into Mount Galemir, so we'll show this. Maiden Astraea. Astraea is the best lore boss, hands down. Hands down. Uh, Bilal, yeah, the my Discord server is linked in the description of all my videos, including this one. So it's he's near where Comet Azure is, pretty much. Oh, Lady Maria. Fuck. It's hard to keep track. There's so many bosses. I'm being invaded? Okay, I know the ladder in question. Oh, right. I forgot about this one. Bro, it wouldn't be a Souls game if it didn't have a crazy woman with a butcher knife invading you. Every single Souls game has one. Uh, if you're Poseidon, yeah, but I mean, I'm not not able to answer while streaming, but yes. <laughs> the ladder's like right here, right? Yeah, Bilal, I have your message. I, I'm just not able to read it right now. Oh. Oh, my God. No way. We made it. I'll open the map at the top of the ladder. Oh, it's so angry down there. Uh, Gatekeeper, it's just easier for me, really, with, uh, like, capturing footage and all that. That's that's really the main reason. I have a beefy PC, but recording at, like, 4K on PC is... You need something really, really, really strong that I don't have. Like, you, I would need a, a better PC. So, all right. And or a second PC rather, so I'm not gonna. I uh, I don't want to do that. I see the uh, I saw the, the the stones. I'm just gonna clear out the area this way I can get a little cinematic with it for the for the video. Okay, below. Yeah, Corey, I appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Oh, the Bloodborne move didn't work. 
Bro, where are you going? Hot girls and boys. What up? Oh, there it is. Oh, unbelievable. That didn't work out. That didn't either. Oh, okay, okay. Fucking take it easy. This is going swimmingly. Totally whiffed. Gotta love it. <sighs> Thank you. I just wanted to be able to deal with him one-on-one. -on -one. That's all I wanted. I hadn't seen that before. Oh, right. They have high defense on their heads. Great. All right, where the hell was it? Okay, there's the note. Okay, let's go back to the ladder. Well, let me kill everybody else, go back to the ladder, and then we'll do this a bit more cinematically. <clears throat> You know, in all my hours of playing, I still have not gotten a pumpkin helm. There's a side of grace over there? I don't think I ever knew that. I've been up here, but I just don't think I ever knew there was a side of grace here. Oh, below. Thank you. I've, I've killed all the bosses, though. I'm on New Game Plus, but I appreciate it. Really? Where is the side of grace? Oh, well. I don't give a shit. It's fine. Okay. Cool. So we'll call this first Mount Gelmir campsite. We'll say the ladder's right here. And then you can teleport from here. That brings you over here. And then we follow this. Cross here, cross this bridge, go to the ladder, come up, side of grace. Perfect. Yes, gatekeeper, I did find that. I wore the confessor set for a while, actually. I like it a lot. And then I did the alterations on it, too, so I, I wore the altered one for a while. Excuse me. Rainbow stones lead the way to riches. Is he going to dump me into an ulcerated tree spirit? Yeah, where's the merchant drip? That's a good question. If you 
Oh, that's why there's corpses down there. Oh. Bilal, it's, it's not necessary. Thank you, though. I've killed 143 bosses in this game. Wow, what an asshole. Take care. <laughs> right into the basilisks. You dick. Bilal, I, I appreciate you joining, but I I would appreciate it if, if you didn't like try to backseat game. I've I've beaten this game seven ways till Sunday. It's it's okay. I'm comfortable playing how I'm playing. Thank you though. Yeah, Outdoor, that's actually how I found this area the first time. I didn't know that he would kick you down here. Uh, no, Corey, not you. Bilal, Farhad, one, two, three, four, five. You're fine. All right, so does he show back up, like, at all? Or do I just go up the mountain and do my thing? No, 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 Corey, you're totally fine. <laughs> I just mean people who are, like, doing what he's doing. That, that shit's just annoying. Is this Gelmir Hero's grave? Okay. I wasn't sure if there's something I hadn't found. Yes. Okay. Cool. So does that new patches step lead? Uh, yeah, he goes to... Um, actually, funny enough, that's funny. He goes to the Shaded Castle, which is kind of where he kicks you down into. It's kind of funny. All right, I'm. I don't think I'm gonna kill the. Um, yeah, after you kill Rikard, he goes to the Shaded Castle, just outside of uh, Elmer's boss room. I think you have to kill Elmer first, though.
All right, what, why do you guys think there's a grafted scion here? Uh, Corey, same. Big same. Actually, no, I didn't. Um, I did not do that before. I, I am a little confused as to why there's a, a grafted scion up here. Although, with the banners, I guess it kind of indicates that maybe Godric led a campaign here. Ah, welcome. Dear customer. Yes, right this way. Right this way. Elden Bling seems too easy. I, I like Elden Drip. It is there to ruin your day. Did you guys find the one that's disguised as a as a giant prawn? Like you kill the prawn and then the grafted scion pops out of it? It's near the boil prawn shack. I'll show it to you in a second. Let me get to the uh, to the side of Grace over here, and I'll show it to you. Although I think I'm going the wrong way. I think this leads to a dungeon. Yeah, wrong way. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Skylar, no, 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 no. We're we're talking about different things. I know what you're talking about, though. All right, watch. It, I may have to kill a couple of these things. I can't remember which one it is. Oh, actually, I marked it on my map. It's right here. It's this one. I remember marking it because I was like, what the fuck just happened? Right, so this is the triple... It's somewhere over here. Uh, Mike, yeah, they... There are some new quests. Uh, basically, it's not like brand new, full-blown quests. It's like they added endings to a couple quests. That's, that's sort of what it is. See? Fucking random. Gatekeeper, the one in the mountains? That was stupid. That wasn't fixed in the patch? I assume they would. So the reason I remember this one specifically is because this was the one prawn that I was like, oh, let me try to kill this one. It's alone. And then it just fucking morphs into this thing. Yeah, and you, you don't get... Oh, you get a larval tier for it. Which is interesting. 
that's actually interesting. Maybe, let's let's theory craft here for a second. Maybe the grafted scion went to Renala, was like, yo, get me the fuck out of this body, and she rebirthed him into into a prawn. Maybe. <laughs> The one near Castle Soul worked for me, but the one in the mountains never worked. The bear in the north? Um, no, I stopped killing bears eventually. Oh, no, I'm not killing this boss. I hate this fucking... Yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's give this boss one one shot, okay? Oh, this is already off to a fucking ripping good time here. Let's give this boss one shot. All right, let's give this boss one shot. Can we get started, please? Oh, I forgot the timings completely. Yep. Oh, dude, I can't stand this boss. Why am I even fighting this thing? I have nothing to prove. Oh, I can summon. All right. I didn't know I could summon up here. How long could you have possibly delayed that for? That shit looks so cool. It's like the fucking mirror dimension. So sick. I love it. I hate the boss, but it has it has cool effects. Oh wow, Teak wrecks this thing. Holy shit. At least you get some good stuff for it. All right, where were we? Did anybody climb the ladder? I want to know. I want to know if any of you have honestly climbed this ladder. You guys are crazy. That's like climbing the stairs in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Isn't there a trophy for that?
I did both. I, I deliberately made a save. <laughs> That's so evil. You like you just get done fighting Falling Star Beast and then they have marionettes just waiting for you. Aren't you precocious? We rarely receive visitors to the Volcano Manor without invitation. Fascinating. And not unlike another guest we had long ago. So tarnished. Have you ever harbored doubts about the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? If you have, why not join the Volcano Manor and fight with us, rise with us against the Erd Tree? Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. Make yourself comfortable. I am Tanith, the proprietor Thanks, Corey. of this house. What's funny is he shows up there even if you don't go through his quest line. The drawing room is through the hall. Use the key I handed you and make yourself comfortable. Oh, it's 100% a cult. That's weird. Do I need to rest here? <laughs> Super Manson. <laughs> Some John Wayne Gacy shit right there. Yeah. Joined the manor, huh? I don't believe it. Didn't think you had it in you. Oh, good though. We're on the same side now. We'll do good work together. He has different dialogue. Oh, and of course, we can do business if you like. At his emporium at the Volcano Manor. Especially for you. Are you surprised that I belong to the Volcano Manor? I always hated the gibberish about Lost Grace and the laughable Two Fingers. I thought I could lend a hand in unmasking the charade. Not to mention, Tanith has always made me curious. Oh, he's got a crush. The master must really be something. And she's pretty damn smug about it. Even after announcing her blasphemous ambitions, she still stands proud. I've never seen a woman quite like her. little beggar. Try to find it in your heart next time, eh? Are you a cleric or something? I think I do a pretty good patches. I did not beckon you here with my own hand, but I am pleased that we meet again. Here at the Volcano Manor, under Lady Tanith's guidance. John, that'd be pretty cool, like if he was aware. Of valor. Like he just said I had a nightmare about being a spider. Tarnished, under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. You. What in heaven's name are you doing here? 
The Volcano Manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind. I hope you understand the weight of my words. Well, as long as you understand what you're saying. I thought you were tarnished bred by virtue. Perhaps playing that part led you to your doubts, I wonder. But know that the path you walk is blasphemy and leads only to a miserable death. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. This blasphemous path leads only to a pitiful death. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. Ah. Oh, it, I... It's, it's you, is it? Well, nice to see you again. So you've been invited as well, I see. Then we're comrades in arms henceforth. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Yes? I, um, I can tell. You're wondering about Lanya. Well, you see, I... After much internal debate, I've come to realize revenge is not the answer. According to Lady Tanith, I've got the stuff of champions. Oh, he's weak. Ironic as it is, are oft forced to walk a tainted path. It hit me like a bolt from the blue. He's weak. That my former thoughts were simple naivety. Of course, my heart weeps for Lanya. That unfortunate incident was a cruel twist of fate indeed. But succumbing to the pain and sadness caused won't make me a champion, will it? Lanya knows this, I'm certain. Fate has laid hard roads for us both. But such is true of any road trod by champions. I always resented these hands. Their pale complexion. A far cry from any warriors. The shame of House Hoslo. But that won't be the case for long. They'll be darkened by grit once I've set out on the... Corey, I just saw that today in Vardy's video. Of House Hoslo is told in blood after all. Yeah, Lunanzar, that's true. I always resented these hands, their pale complexion, a far cry from any warriors, the shame of House Hoslo, but that won't be the case for long. They'll be darkened by grit once I've set out on the path of champions. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood after all. Uh, Mark, not on this playthrough, no. Sorry guys, I don't I OBS has literally never done this for me. Literally never. Today is the first day it's been doing this. The letter describes the task the volcano manor desires. You will be calm. Okay. All right, let's go uh, let's go fuck some people up. Yeah, stream elements is literally just OBS. Guys, I'm so sorry. I don't know what the fuck is going on with OBS today. I've literally never had this problem before today. Somebody was asking me something. My PC is not updating anything. I mean, that could be the problem. What version am I on of OBS? I'm on 27.13 in OBS. Oh, I'm a lot of versions behind, apparently. Okay. If you guys don't mind waiting a couple minutes, I'll just update. So I'll, I'll be right back.
All right. Well, here we are. Hopefully no more crashes. I have no... I don't know. It's very strange. So, uh, Mark... I'll tell you guys a story about heatsink stickers. I once built a computer for a friend. I've built many computers in my life. I've been building them for 18 years. And he calls me up one day, and he's like, Yo, I smell burning. And I'm like, you smell burning? Like, well, how do you smell burning? He's like, I don't know, man. Fucking computer smells like it's burning. It smells like burning plastic. I'm like, no, 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 you're crazy. Uh, maybe, maybe it's just like burning something off, you know? Maybe it's like, you know, just getting warmed up. I don't know. I don't know who it was, but one of our friends, like, took it apart and found out that I never took the sticker off the heatsink of the CPU. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, so, yeah, I just never... I never took the, the sticker off. And uh, that's that was the problem. <laughs> so... Yeah, moral of the story is I'm a fucking idiot. And I can't be trusted. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. Like, I've literally never had it happen before or since. I am genuinely convinced that there were two stickers on the heatsink because when he showed me the picture of you know what happened he had the sticker like on his finger with paste on the sticky side like he he was holding it in his hand and I could read it like I could read the thing that said please remove sticker and I feel like you shouldn't be able to read it left to right because when you open a heatsink and you're looking at the bottom of it, the sticker is facing you and then you can read like left to right. Uh, Tremulatone, that is exactly what I did. Ther CPU, thermal paste, sticker, heatsink. He definitely has the picture. Somebody does. Somebody has the picture. But that's what I'm saying is, like, why would there be paste on the sticky side of the sticker if it, you know, like, that that doesn't make sense to me. That's the part that trips me up. That's the thing that gets me. Anyway. So all my friends joke that I'm going to leave a heatsink sticker on their, on their machine. Oh, I didn't open my map here. Oh. I'm actually going to die deliberately here. That shit was funny, though. I felt so bad. How dare you? Oh, he even tried to double pump. Of 
Cool guys don't look at explosions. Oh, Corey, that's funny. All right, what's Istvan's deal? <laughs> I would have done that. I would have just told him how to open it. Uh, Kite, sure. You defeat the boss of the Shaded Castle. I'll show you on the map. So you defeat the boss of this dungeon right here. And then after you do that, you'll be able to purchase it from the Finger Reader in Round Table Hold. You've completed your task. I am pleased. Now you are a recusant true, and a full-fledged member of the Volcano Manor. This is your reward, as promised. Never forget that the recusant fights to tread the path of the champion. The way is tainted, but for this very reason, it is the true path to valor. Uh, yeah, let me, what's it called again? Sentry Torch, right? Do I actually have it? Let's go get it together, I guess. Now, right, let me get the next mission and then we'll go get it. Now you are a recusant, I am pleased. Oh, there's just always a letter on the table, I guess. Yeah, this guy. Who's this guy? Serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber. Worthy tarnished. Brandish the spear and run him through. I don't think this guy had a voice. That unspeakable monstrosity. Did he have a voice before this patch? Pray to Rikard's ambitions, though blasphemous. Marked him a worthy sovereign, but they were reduced to gluttonous depravity once he gave himself. He did? To okay. Serpent, whatever that thing it took me 150 something hours to beat this game, so I forget. I've forgotten a bunch of stuff. Rikard, someone must kill him to spare him and his ambitions from further. Dishonor. Worthy tarnished. I left the serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber. It is the only thing that can kill that horror. Run it through. The great serpent, that unspeakable. 
unspeakable monstrosity. So, you've blooded your sword in the hunt. Then I shall introduce myself once more. Banal. A recusant just like you. Recusants have particular battle arts styled to our methods. I like this guy's voice a lot. Why not add some to your repertoire? You've come to understand now, eh? To take power and make it his own. The recusant must hunt his own kind. To raise the flag of revolt against this sanctified pillaging, we recusants must become the most wretched of predators. All you can do is laugh. Well, until we meet again. I always resented these hands, a pale complexion. Have you ever heard any strange sounds here at the manor? Something beyond the walls, like breathing or slithering scales? Oh, fie, what am I saying? It just isn't possible. I must be tired. Sometimes I hear strange sounds beyond the walls, like breathing or slithering scales. Oh, perhaps I'm just feeling tired. Hmm. All right, I know how to open that one. Now you are a recuse, I am pleased. Ah, hello. What impeccable timing. This is for you. You're new here at the manor, but if you complete the request, you can improve your standing. Relax. We're old friends. Time's come to pass the torch, right? Go on, break a leg then. Uh, okay, let's go get the torch. So the torch is going to be right here at this shack. I wish I knew about this. Cuz in my guide for the uh for the assassin I don't know, I kind of just said like use a heavy weapon to try to suss him out and I I knew the spirits could see him. I feel bad though. Maybe I'll update the guide. I mean, to be fair, those assassins are hard as shit. Like, uh, Lunans are, I think, the Badlands, probably. I have a strong feeling it's the Badlands. But, I could be totally wrong. 
I'm never good at guessing these things. Um, for example, Dark Souls 3, I never would have assumed we were going to the Painted World or the Ring City. Like, that seemed random. I like how these trebuchets work. Like, they're completely animated. Um, I don't know. There'd probably be DLC. I would have to imagine there's, there's going to be. I'd be surprised if there, if there weren't. Time travel is established in this game, though. That's true. Could be time travel. Really, Corey? That's crazy. I, I don't... I don't remember thinking that 3 would have DLC. It felt so complete to me. Oh my god, hot girls and boys. Jesus. Yeah, that's a good reason for that guess. That's a good reason. Oh, shit. There's a death right bird here. I don't want to fucking fight this thing. Oh, thank God. Reach out and touch Grace. So this guy should have it. Excuse me. Talking to my friend over here. How rude of you. Something else. I don't see it. It's weird, though, that I didn't get this from him. Am I blind? Something else. Oh, I am blind. Okay, at least we know that. Torch given to protectors of the Erd Tree. Its flames are bestowed with a special incantation which allows the bearer to see assassins cloaked in veils. Furnished on behalf of the Erd Tree and the Grace Given Lord, such that a Knight of Black Knives will never come again. Oh, shit. So they crafted it after the assassination. Your own personal maiden. Wait. No. All right. Uh, are there any conflicts doing the patches thing and the volcano manor thing? Okay. 
All right, let's go murder. Okay, thanks, Scorpion. Appreciate it. Uh, feel free to give me hints on where this invasion sign is. I honestly got have no idea. Oh, it's in the magma worm room. Okay, thanks. I would not have guessed that. Thank you. like outside oh hello literally right in front of the bonfire <laughs> Oh, you dick. Bro, the recovery on that is obscene. Yo, he's got a butt smash? Oh my god. This guy's Kirk hammering me to death. Holy shit. Shit. Holy shit. Oh, oh my god. Yo, he's a Danimal yogurt over here. We got him. Cool armor. Oh, the bull goat set. Cool. Congrats, arms. Big congrats.
Great Horn Trogoth's helm, adorned with a gold bull goat motif, provides high poise. It's got a beard on it. Tragoth is a famed knight of assistance. Countless tarnished, facing adversity in the lands between, have survived thanks only to the Great Horned One's aid. Cool. All right, and then... That one's over there. Mount Galmir. Oh. Wait. Did I not activate the bonfire in the Seathwater catacombs? Oh, you can summon him from Magma Worm? That's cool. <laughs> for Dan's horse for DLC, that'd be pretty wild. This whole channel confuses the shit out of me. This way goes to... It leads to this, Fort Laid. Okay, so this isn't really where I thought I was, but that's okay. So don't feel bad for the horse. Don't feel bad. He learns gravity magic just to be able to ride the horse. So, like, the horse isn't really under any load. Or any, any load that a, a horse shouldn't be under. He's very considerate. Redan is very considerate to his horse, pal. He's a good guy. He he's a member of the a of the ASPCA, you know. So don't don't feel bad. You can summon Bernal for Godskin Duo? Thank fucking God. I should've just went to Erdtree Gazing Hill. I'm like wasting so much time here. Whoa. No, he loves the horse. He loves the horse. All right, I don't have any Redan memories on me, but I if I did, I would read it to you. <laughs> His face looks like it's begging for death. Help! Please kill me. Redan's tough. I, I would never do it solo. Even my own guide says don't do it solo. It's You're clearly meant to have a fucking army with you. Whatever. It's like that fight in the cave in Dark Souls 2. You know? It's like they, they give you the summons for a reason. Corey, wow. Did you do it as a melee build? Wait. Dude, I am not going where I want to go. Oh, the Scarlet Rot. Yeah, that's good. That'll do it. 
Oh my god, I gotta get out of here so this giant leaves me alone. They nerfed for Dawn, really? It's a shame. Killing him with Scarlet Rod is fitting, though. You know? That's fitting. That's a fitting end. I mean, I have to kill him, so you probably see it tonight. If we, I, I don't know how long Volcano Manor goes for, but oh shit, he's got the Confessor armor on. Sick. This guy's nothing. Nope, you don't get to do that. Oh, talk shit, get hit. Talk shit, get hit, John. That's what I get. That's what I get. Second time in one stream. That's what I get. Nope, Corey, you're right. Talk shit. Paid, it, paid the price. The guilty pay the price returning to your world. Oh, he's got the Reduvia. Oh, fuck. He can just hit you out of the air like that? Oh, he's got the little back step. The little back step. The little back step. All right. All right. You get one. Yeah. Lancey Axe's glaive is no match for a mere, a mere crossbow. Um, I gotta stop. Oh, you fuck. Huh! Wow, he's strong, that guy. Good for you. Riley, the idol. I thought it was bleed build up as well. That's why I wasn't respecting it. Creepus is vile. Crepus, Creepus. Small mysterious bottle with a dark mist sealed within. Eliminates all sound made by the wearer during movement. A ritual implement used by round table hold assassins. There was a time when Tarnished, who had strayed from guidance, feared nothing more than utter silence. Ooh, spooky. Spooky. Crepus. It's definitely Crepus, but I'm going to call Creepus because it lets you be on the creep. Right? <clears throat> Tanith Volcano Manor Proprietress. Right, the scout recusant. I see you've performed another task for us. 
Here is your usual reward. Please, take it. Ooh. Now, perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this manor, Lord Rikard. The Erd Tree blessed the Tarnished with grace, but it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The Tarnished were forced to scavenge, squabbling for crumbs, like the shard bearers vying for power in the wake of the shattering. Our Lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us. If the Erd Tree, and indeed the very gods, would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance, even if it means heresy. We at the Volcano Manor... Oh, Corey, that's me. <laughs> oh, oh, my webcam. Yes. Until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. It cannot come a day too soon. Now we will destroy the gods together. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. It cannot come a The densely, wait, sinister katana modeled after a serpent bone. Ooh, it's got teeth. The densely packed row of spines that jut away from the cutting edge are coated in a lethal poison. Hmm. Cool. Hello again. Welcome to Patch's Emporium. You hunted down Tragoff? Are you certain? No, it's quite all right. Fine work indeed. I'll give Tanith the news. Have some rest, by all means. Right. Stingy little beggar. So basically, I'm doing his assassination missions for him because he is a wuss. Actually, curious if she says anything about it. If you follow this, no. it so what I was looking at before. She does blink. Okay, interesting. Where is Raya? Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> what? Brave tarnished. What is your business here? I'm afraid this is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness. Am I still a serpent? Oh, how dreadful. How dreadful indeed. Oh, forgive my I knew Somebody told me she turned into a serpent. I just never seen this before. As usual, despite this appearance, brave tarnished, this is my true form. My real name is Zorias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks. <laughs> <of osteoporosis. laughs> the volcano manor is just as it seems. Lady Tanith is my mother, 
I am told I was born by the grace of a glorious king, that my mother cherishes this form I inhabit. I am proud of what I am, but people are cruel. <laughs> if they saw my true form, <laughs> gotta get this girl a scoliosis brace. So I assume a guise when seeking new recruits, but you are not like the rest. My serpentine form and the name Zarias were secrets known only to Lady Tanith and I. Now I share the secrets with you as well. Please keep them safe from anyone else. My serpentine form and the name Zarias were secrets known only. I'm not being mean. I'm just I'm trying to help her out. I mean, we can get her. We can get a GoFundMe together for the scoliosis brace. She'll be fine. If you follow this, it cannot. Oh. Sorry, I, fu I fucked this all up. I'm like, I'm trying to get a good shot of all this and then, you know. Yeah, I mean, we'll send her to like, you know, one of those like Southern Bell finishing schools. You know, that sexist bullshit. And she'll learn how to, she'll, she'll learn good posture. If she confided in you the name Zarias, then perhaps it is not my place to speak. But as her adoptive mother, I ask of you, please be kind to her. Look after young Zarias. Her true visage belies the purity of her heart. Honestly, I hardly deserve the sweet child. Please. Be kind to her. Look after young Zarias. Her true visage belies the purity of her heart. Yeah, kill her. Exactly. I can't believe that shit is real. And, like, parents send their daughters to these weird-ass places. That is some fucking old-world shit, man. My serpentine for secrets. Now I share this. Please keep them. The, so, like, really the reason I know about that is because of Borat, like, or the, the Ali G show, I should say. Like, I can't believe that is real. Hello again. Welcome to Patch's Emporium. Yeah, it's real. Like, that, that is a real thing. <laughs> Sharper than you seem, aren't you? I was just holding on to it for you, you know. There you go. The reward for hunting Tragoth. All yours. Stingy little beggar. Try to find... The rich, this ritual implement is a three-pronged candlestick with solid flames formed at the ma of the magma of Mount Gelmir. When wielded as a weapon, the flames become supple whips of lava. So supple. Conan, yeah, he most certainly did. That's definitely a Conan thing, for sure. My serpentine, a secret. Now I shall please keep them safe. <laughs> Dude, Ali G is just unreal. The balls on that man are like made of steel. My serpent a secret now I share this. Please keep Okay, well. Let's go kill somebody else, I guess. Ooh, the red letter. Red letter media over here.
Juno has, though. Oh, mountain tops. Okay. Okay. So this one is in the mountain tops. All right. Let's uh. All right. So I'm trying to think here. Because in order to finish Dialos, we also need to do Alexander. And in order to finish Alexander, we have to kill Radon. I think before we kill Rad I'm trying to think. There's no conflict with Radon in Volcano Manor. Alexander Blythe. Right? Dude, Bor Bruno is really my favorite because of how uncomfortable he makes people. That's really where I... That's... Dude, exposing people's homophobia is the fucking greatest. It is the fucking greatest. Because, like... Oh, like, they're... they're you can, like, see their skin crawling. It's so good. So, okay, Man of the West. I don't think there's anything wrong with an etiquette class, but specifically... When, like, people, when, when people, like, it, it's, <sighs> typically when they send girls to those places, it's to, like, prepare them for marriage, and, like, a lot of times they will pair, like, the boys with the girls and, like, set them up together. It's, like, very gross like and it like teaches the women not to like think for themselves and not to like just be normal human beings and like experiment and go out and do things you know it's like it's very like locked into like very old world kind of shit it, it really bothers me it's just me um Oh, who is America is that is next level. That Israeli defense instructor with the with the strap on. That's so good. Um Okay, so if I go to Kalid. Yeah, so going to Altus is what changes Red Main Castle. Okay, so we should just do this now, then. So, yeah, Man of the West, that, that's what it is for the guys. Like, for the guys, it's, like, how to be a gentleman. And, like, I think that's perfectly fine. Like, my mom, when I was nine, got me a book literally called How to Be a Gentleman. And it was very helpful. Like, it was, like, how to tie a tie, how to tie a bow tie, which I don't know. Um, like, how to treat people on dates. And, like, it's it's very nice, and I think it's good. Um, although, <laughs> I think at nine years old, I should not have known to always carry a condom in your wallet. Although, apparently, that's not good to do, because it can, like, not melt, but, you know, whatever. Um, but it, it had good advice. But typically, for, like, the girls going to those schools, it's literally, like, how to please men. Like, that's really what it is, which is... That's I. That's very, I don't know. That is not what you should be raising women to do. You should be raising women to just be independent and like you know, do their thing. But, yeah. So my ex girlfriend was from the south. She didn't go to one of those things, but she knows girls who did, and like that is what it is. And like girls in the south are raised to please men. Like that's. <sighs> That's, like, what it is. And it's it's not 100% of the time, but, like, in my experience, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, real gentleman pulls out. That's right. <laughs> no, 
No, that's Corey. That that's not fair. That's not fair. We're we are exes for different reasons. Well, no, I so um. So I'm getting lost in this shit. Uh, Man of the West. I think being a gentleman is just being a courteous individual. Like I don't really think it has anything anything to do with being kind to men or women. I think it's just being kind to anybody. That's just what I think. Yeah, that, that, that's what I feel. And, like, uh, yeah, I just find these finishing school things to be, like, or etiquette schools to be, like, just whack. Like, one, it's, like, teach your own damn kid to be a, a good person. You know what I mean? Like, Jesus Christ, why do you need to send them to a school to do it? Like, that's that's a weird thing to me. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Did we get it? Oh my god. I'm still expecting to die at any second. Um. Uh, Clash with Hampton, probably like 175 at this point. Somewhere around there. Oh, dude. Corey, yeah, you definitely did the right thing there. Like, as, as much of a strained relationship that as me and my mom had, like, she, she taught both my sister and I, don't take shit off anybody. Like, do your own thing. Be your own person. Take care of yourself. To a fault. You know, definitely to a fault. But, you know, to, to the point where it was, like, sort of we were taught to be a little selfish, but... I kind of learned out of that in my 20s. Um, but, yeah, like, I think that's the best thing to do. Oh, I forgot about him. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow, I survived. How do I survive that, but then I die to other shit? Um, Lunans are sort of like... <sighs> I'm trying to think. Oh, this is where people are getting that Deus Volt shit. Oh. Huh. Is this replenished in New Game Plus? Anyway. So. Yeah, like. I'm, I'm trying to think of like a decent example here. Of when I felt like I was being selfish. Or when I realized that I was sort of raised to be a little selfish. So, growing up, I was taught specifically not to share. Um, yo. Uh, I was specifically told not to share with, like, friends. Like, don't... Jesus Christ. Like, don't lend your things out because you're not gonna... Uh, thanks, Corey. I'll go back for it. Um, like, don't lend your... Don't lend your things out. You'll never get them back. People can't be trusted. Like, I was literally taught these things by my mom. Um, and then, 
you know, I, I have plenty of instances where I would lend things out and I would get them back broken. I have a couple collector's items where that happened with, so that sucked. But, um... <laughs> How can you crusade? <laughs> um... Yeah, so, like... But then I learned later on... Um, I learned, like, a bit more about my mom. Um, like, after she passed away, my sister... Like, me and my sister talk about my mom all the time. Talking that shit. And, um... My sister told me that when my sister was very young, sh my mom told her some things that, like, she kind of shouldn't have... Like, you shouldn't tell a kid... But anyway, she, like, grew up in, like, a very fucked up family situation, which I knew. I knew that, too. But she, um, she was in an orphanage for a little while. And, uh, every time a kid was adopted, they got to take a toy from the orphanage. And so, like, my mom, like, could never, like, have anything permanent, which is, like, a common psychological piece of damage that orphans, you know, have, right? Um, and so... Is that thing still following me? Anyway. And so, like, because that kept happening to my mom, where, like, any time she had something that she liked, a kid would get adopted and then take that toy or that doll or whatever, my mom literally told me and my sister, don't share your things because you're not going to ever get them back. Like, she basically taught us not to trust people. Which, like, is not good to teach children. Like, I mean, yeah, don't trust the guy in the creepy-ass van. But, you know, trust your friends. Trust your loved ones. Like, trust your relatives. Um, but it was actually, like, through dating... Oh, God. It was through dating my ex-girlfriend and, like, seeing how, you know, other people operate. And, like, seeing how kind she was to people and how, like... For the most part, she assumed the best in people, and I would kind of assume the worst. But it was just how we were raised. And, like, she seemed so much more at ease, like, lending people things and... Oh, God. Oh, fuck. And doing all that. And, like, lending people things. And, like, she... You know, I, I spoke of this... As, I spoke about this once before. Like, she loaned me a bunch of money that I took way too long to pay back, which put a lot of strain on our relationship. Um, but... Like, once I sort of, like, learned that about my mom and saw how my ex-girlfriend, like, treated people very nicely, I sort of realized, like, oh, I was raised to be a bit of a selfish asshole. And, like, it wasn't necessarily, like, my mom was doing a bad thing. It's just she was doing what she thought was the right thing. So, yeah. And, like, you know, you get the confirmation bias. Jesus Christ, bro. You get the confirmation bias of, okay, like, a bad thing happened because I did a nice thing for someone else. Therefore, I should never do nice things for people. And, like, whenever that would happen growing up to me, my mom would be there to, like, reinforce, this is why you don't do that. This is why you don't do that. Like, this is why you don't trust people. So, yeah, that's, like, that's, that's the heavy shit. So yeah, I have childhood damage that I went, that I went to a lot of therapy for. Yeah, exactly. That that is literally what she was doing. Is she was protecting her own kids from her shit experience. And that makes perfect sense. That is what you should do as a parent. She did the best she could. No, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Corey. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I, I love my mom. She did a lot of really good things for me, but she also fucked me up in some ways, so. So what does Blythe say to you here, if you've never met him? As a fellow combatant, allow me to introduce myself. Blythe. Warrior. We find ourselves pitted against Radan, once the strongest of the demigods. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. 
a path forged by sword and fang. Hmm. Nothing to do but wait until the festival begins. Oh yeah, I mean, dude, trauma is certainly avoid unavoidable. For sh for sure. It's the level of the damage. <laughs> it's what makes the difference. General Radon, mighty demigod of the shattering awaits you. Champions, prepare for battle. Defeat the general, find glory, and grab that great rune. A celebration of war. The Radon Festival. Let me get daytime here. So I'll I'll tell you uh, I'll tell you something. I was twelve, and it was the last day of sixth grade, and we were walking home, me and my friends from school. And I had like worked with my dad the previous weekend, so I had like twenty bucks in my wallet, and like you know, me and my friends all like got good grades. So I was like, oh, let, let's like all celebrate, right? Like, what I have twenty bucks. I'll get everybody ice cream. Like, there's a literal ice cream parlor. Like, I could see it from this window. And so we walked home from school. I got everybody ice cream. And then, like, I walk home because I live two houses from this ice cream shop. And uh, I'm, like, eating ice cream. And my mom was like, where did you get that? And I was like, oh, I bought everybody ice cream because we all got good grades. She scolded me for it. She said, why did you do that? And I was like, I wanted to do a nice thing for my friends. She's like, no, you shouldn't have done that. That's your money. Don't buy your friends things. Let them buy it. And I was like, "Yo, what is going on? Like, why can't <laughs> why can't I do a nice thing?" Like, she was livid. She was livid at me for doing a nice thing for my friends at twelve years old. Will he do this introduction thing again if I approach this way? Yeah. But when I when I was bullied in elementary school, she took aggressive action like she really took care of it. She like, you know, did the typical thing like, "Oh, let's sign him up for karate." I did that. I wasn't that great at it. I'm not very sporty. Um but, like, she got me a restraining order against the kid, got us separated so we were never in the same class after that. Like, she did very good things. But when, like, she would do good things to, like, defend her kids. But she didn't really do much to, like, teach us how to properly treat other people. Ah, you came. How delightful. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by, do you know for whom this Oh, is Scorpion. Born? She, yeah. Well, yes. That's really the root of everything. To think that I could face a great champion of the shattering, a demigod in the flesh. Oh God! In truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his fright. My mom is also the reason that I've always like worked a lot, and like that's good and bad. Like I extract a lot of personal value and self worth out of my career. Which is good and bad. It doesn't make me a great partner a lot of the time to like a significant other. But like the she is a huge reason why this YouTube channel is successful. Not that she did anything for it, but like I have always had a side hustle since I was a child. Like when the Nintendo 64 was coming out, it was like it, it would get to like 300 bucks for the 64, a second controller, and a couple games. or And Super Mario 64, I think. And she was like, look, you can take your birthday money. Because your birthday's in August. The N64 comes out in September. And then, you know, we can wait until Christmas and get it. And I was like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I want it right now. I was eight years old, seven years old. And I was like, I want it right fucking now. Like, I want it when it comes out. And she's like, well, if you want it, you got to go to work with your dad. 
And like my dad does garage doors. So I was like his little helper, like seven, eight years old, earning 20 bucks on a weekend. And I saved all my money and bought an N64 the day it came out. And like, I have always had a side hustle. When I was in eighth grade, I sold gum in school. And she would take me to Costco to buy it. And then I would sell it. And then when I got caught selling it, like six months later in school, I got sent to the dean because a kid tried to start some shit with me saying that he put money in my backpack. So he's taking the gum. And I was like, no, I know for a fact you didn't. He's trying to start some shit. So it got a little loud in the lunchroom. The teacher who was like supervising sent me to the dean. He knew what I was doing. And he told me straight up in the beginning of, of the year, like, you're fine to do this. You're not really allowed to. But as long as it doesn't cause a problem, I don't care. And I think it's a cool thing that you're doing. So it finally became a problem. I got sent to the dean. And like the dean, like I was apparently like known to teachers. Like there's a kid selling gum in the eighth grade class. Like if anybody knows who it is, please report it. Like not there was like wanted posters in the school, but like it was a known thing that there was a gum kid. And so I'm in the dean's office. And like the dean was like, I'm going to call your mom. What is she going to say? And I was like, nothing like she's she's the one buying it for me and she like didn't believe me i was sitting in the dean's office the dean calls my mom and i hear my mom yelling at the dean being like you send our you you send our kids home trying to sell wrapping paper for the school what the fuck is your problem like give them detention who gives a shit just shut the fuck up and i was like whoa and i was just sitting there laughing and the dean's face just went pale white and she was like you have detention for a week and your mom can pick up the rest of your gum and I, I like went back to class. It was like the most hilarious thing. But yeah, I got my work ethic from my mom and my dad too, but certainly my mom. Anyway, that's your story time for the evening. Are you good and prepared, young chum? The festival begins. What's funny is, like, all of my teachers knew. Like, everyone knew, but no one would rat on me. Oh, I was getting, like, the Juicy Fruit Big Red Winter Fresh stuff. So, like, I would literally go to Costco, get it for half price, and then sell it for full price. So it was like a, you know, buy for a dollar, sell for two sort of thing. Like Prop Joe in the wire. Lunins are one hundred percent. When she said the shit about the wrapping paper, I I was trying my best not to laugh because it's so true. Like they send us home, you know, in October selling fifteen dollar tubs of popcorn and twelve dollar rolls of wrapping paper to raise money for the school, but a kid can't sell some gum. Like fuck out of here. Champions, the revels begin. The celebration of war. The Redan Festival. Yo, take it easy, big guy. All right, let's see how this goes. Uh, I went to public school on Long Island. It's a very good school, too. Like, I went to good schools, but yeah, that dean just, like, sucked. What's funny, she was also my English teacher the, pri the, the, the prior year. So she knew me, too.
You've gotten invaded here, really? All right, let's do it. I feel like he does a lot less damage. Oh God, oh God. So yeah, my mom was hardcore, but you know, she, she did the right thing. She always defended us. Oh, Jesus. Idea where he is. <gasps> oh, fuck. I just need him to release the meteors, and then I'll go, I'll go in on him. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, whoa. Am I out of summons? I really wanted to get footage of Alexander surviving, but I'm not really going to worry about it. Oh, they're back. <laughs> Shit. Whoa, damn, dude. Uh oh. Hey, we got him first try. This is probably the coolest cutscene in the whole game right here. Bar none. I did not know that he can meteor more than once. That's cool. That was definitely way easier.
<laughs> Mercy kill the poor horse. The horse is fine, bro. He's got gravity magic. It's all good. It's all good. Nothing to worry about. The horse is all good. It's a consenting horse. Hey, Sato, I think you're the only person on Earth who likes Dark Souls 2 more than Dark Souls 3. I think Blythe here has the sickest line where he says, what a sick way to fight. Ah, hello there. Well, it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. He's so sad. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a crock. One hit was all it took to crack me and for my inside to come spilling out. After that, I... I hid like a coward, and as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. <sighs> but don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Hm. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect... Online strips without clothing? Oh, God! of all wars. <laughs> what a what sick way to fight. fight eh? mate. Mate. It's the too good. The class is shared. Beradan and you. And then a falling star. Right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend. If ever I saw one. Well, this time I left, the wheel of fate has been set into motion. If it's on the cards, I'd be glad to meet again. You are a fine warrior. If it's on the cards, you are a fine warrior. Um, so uh, you're asking if my sister got the same work ethic? She certainly did. She did. Yeah, she's, um, she's a teacher here on Long Island. Uh... She's always, like, doing some big shit, really. Like, <laughs> always. She's like a teacher of teachers, sort of. Like, she's always doing, like, faculty programs and, like, going to the next level of her career. Okay, so that's Alexander. And so... Right. Okay, so where does Alexander go now? Oh, you actually got to do a lot of shit to finish Alexander. Okay. Uh, Lunazar, it um, it comes and goes, because I do a lot of like voiceover, like you know, narration for YouTube, and I do like I. Years ago, I worked on a YouTube channel where I had to, like, present things. 
I try to like cut my New York accent out a little bit just so people can understand me. Um, but like when I get tired or when I get angry, it comes out in like full effect. There was a stream a couple weeks ago where I was going out of my mind against Melania. And uh, I was streaming for like six or seven hours. And by the end of it, I was like talking gibberish because I was just exhausted. But also my, oh no, it was against Horaloo actually. My my Long Islandness was just like f- free flowing. Um, okay. Oh, Corey, are you from Ireland? Yeah, usually whenever, like, whatever filter you're putting on yourself, like, whenever something happens to, like, get your brain to shut that filter off, it'll usually start happening. Uh, Hesedo, no. I I mean, I, it, it definitely feels random to me. Like, it feels inconsistent. Why did I take damage there? Gotcha. I I once um in one of my Dark Souls one walkthroughs when I was going through Dark Root Garden, I must have started recording it at like two in the morning, and I probably finished it around three in the morning, and by the time I finished recording it, for some reason I said Dark Root Garden, like in a brogue. And I was like, where the fuck did that come from? It's it's like recorded on my channel. I'd have to find it, but like I couldn't believe I said garden. And I was like, wow, I must be fucking exhausted if I'm pulling a brogue out. But yeah, a lot of my family's Irish too. So I, I grew up around brogues. you're high enough to take damage on the horse and jump right after landing, you'll die. Oh, that's weird. Dark Spirit COVID and Ulaseal. I think that might be my most upvoted Reddit post. I think I called it like Ulaseal has been vaccinated or something. The guys can't say Aaron had an iron urn. <laughs> Is that fucking ridiculous? Dude, there are times that I've gone to the to a diner here like a few times in the past few weeks. It's been like the Elden Ring Detox Diner for me and a friend. Can you hear me? Help me. I'm stuck. Oh, okay. And uh like me and a friend will meet there to like detox from Elden Ring for a day. And uh Bro, we fucking walk into this place, and the I swear to God, like, the people that walk out of there look like they, like, grew out of Long Island. Like, they were, like, sprouted from the ground here. Like, they look like the Long Island medium. Like, the hair, the nails, the way they walk. It's fucking insane. it is to see a friendly face as you can surmise i've got myself stuck in another hole would you mind helping me out again oh alexander my thanks in advance i know you're the man for the job you know what to do hmm? give me a good smack from behind with something nice and big no, don't worry about my wound sustained at the festival i'm stuck back together good and proper <laughs> just give it your all Whoever does his voice does an excellent job. Please. Wait. I have a terrible feeling about 
about this. Would you stop hitting me for a minute? Nah, I can feel my lower half is stuck on something. I don't think you can get me out just by hitting me this time. Hmm. Let's think. Perhaps there's a way to slide me out a little more smoothly. Uh, what if I could somehow be made slippery or some such? Do I have oil? Is it an item like Sekiro or is do I have to make it? a way to slide me out a little I was thinking about soap too I mean, what if I could somehow be made hmm. let's think I mean, what if I could I was just trying to see if he would let's give you I mean, what if I okay oh my god you're definitely a pitcher for the fucking Mets over here Jesus Christ That was pitiful. By the gods, you are a man of vision. This will have me as slippery as a toad. Oh, I have a good feeling about this, my friend. Right. Give me a good smack from behind with something nice and big. My thanks to you and your razor sharp wits. Oh, as a token of my thanks, I'd like you to have this. Bro, what's with you in exalted flesh? Dearie me, I'm oilier than a toad. <laughs> yeah, there were countless oil jars back where I'm from, actually. And now I know what it's like to be one of them. <laughs> Yes, indeed. I too have a home. Though it is one to which I have vowed not to return. So, I thought I might look out from atop the cliff. But as I drew closer and closer, pow, wouldn't you know it, I was perfectly stuck in... Yeah, Killa, I just realized this is how... I can feel this is the hint for Jarberg. Admonishing me for my mawkishness. So it's mawkishness. champions. One cannot... To the past. I'm headed to the fiery mount in the north. I can strengthen myself there without fear of cracking this vessel. I will forge myself anew in its flames. Oh, mawkish means exaggeratedly or childishly emotional. They make fun of him for being emotional. I'm headed to the fiery Megan strength. It's alright, Alexander. You can show your emotions in my stream. That's fine. That's totally fine, man. It's so sad. Anyway, like I was saying, I think the person who does his uh his voice, like really good emotional like vibes off of the voice. Like he's very sheepish, very, you know, shy. Very good. Really well done. I found Jarberg my first time and was very confused why there was nothing there. So when they added Jarbarn, I was like, oh shit. That makes sense. I don't think it's the same guy as Sigurd. It could be. I just, I don't think it is though. I think it's made to sound like him, but I, I don't think it's the same person. Kevin Howarth. Okay. Very good job. 
definitely portrays emotion well. There's a Knight Cavalry here, too? Yo, what? How? I assume that there would be one in each zone. I just kind of stopped running into them. There's two in the snow region? Fuck. I missed everybody after Liernia, I guess. And the guy in Liernia, I only found, like, at the end of the game when I was like, oh, I wonder if there's one in this exact location. Like, I had a feeling he would be there. Oh, that's how you get their armor. Okay. Whoops. I wasn't paying attention. So there are two caves in this game that I don't know how to get all the treasures in. There's one here, the Perfumer's Grotto. There's like stuff across a ravine. I don't know how to get that treasure. And then also in the in the Kalid Hideaway, it seems like you should be able to get behind a door or behind behind a section of the cliff. I don't know how to get there. What? cave is that in? I may have missed it. <laughs> oh, Scorpion, the Altus speedrun is cool. Like, you, you could warp right to Garank, jump into the fort, get that medallion, go to Fort Hike, get that medallion, done. Alright, let, let me... So yeah, I know this entrance, but is there a different entrance? That's Altus Tunnel? Really? Did I just never finish Altus Tunnel? Uh, John, who do you think you give it to? I'll let you know if you're right. Hello. Does he have a sentry torch? Let's get a good look at that torch. Excuse me, I'm trying to look at your torch. I'm trying to look at your torch. Sir? Oh my Jesus. <laughs> that is a sentry torch. That is a sentry torch. Interesting. So they gave the tree sentinels guarding the door sentry torches. Interesting. 
very deliberate, very deliberate world design in From Software games. You love to see it. Hello. John, you are correct, yes. <laughs> Scorpion, that's true, but that you have to kill Magma Worm. What the fuck is this place? Okay. What are we about to find? What is this? An ephemeral sliver that gives off a pale amber glow, what remains of a passing flash of starlight. If the stars commanded our fates, then amber-hued stars must command the fates of the gods. Such is the belief that inspired the use of these shards to prepare a most special draft. What? You use it to betray Ronnie. Okay. Dude. Never knew about this. Dude, I've... I don't know, like, what... Dude, Selvis gave me the potion for Nefeli Lu and died. <laughs> like, that's all Selvis did for me. <laughs> Dude, I thought I had this game combed. That's crazy. Wow. So you get the knife before ever talking to Ronnie? When does Celibus ask for that, though? Oh. Okay. So get the knife and talk to Celibus instead of Ronnie. Hmm. So what's funny is I got the knife and didn't even know that that was the treasure. Like, I had no idea. Uh, 
And then she just like took it from me. I'd love to know why these guys are crying. Like, what their deal is. Oh, by the way, I think the stream is delayed for some people because of the of it coming down. If you refresh... Um, if you refresh, you'll catch up. I notice some people are, are kind of, like, lagged in the chat. All right, Corey, be good. Thanks for joining. All right, so I'm I'm really only here to see the other side of the perfumer's tunnel. Oh, that's it. Oh shit. Oh my god. The fucking wombo combo over here. Why don't I really remember this place? Like, I don't remember a cave with these gargoyles. I don't think I've ever actually done this place. Fuck. You kill that from the Perfumer's Grotto. Right? Uh, Lunans are, no, there's traps, but no mimics.
Oh, fuck. This is double Crystallion? I don't know if I ever did this. I must have. Because I... All this tunnel was on my map. Oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. Gravity and bullets. I am curious, though. Did I ever actually finish this place? I, I just don't remember this. But it's, it really was, you know, in, in my first playthrough, I would never not finish a place. And if I, if I ever did have to come back, that happened a, a couple times, I would mark it in my notes. So I'm, I'm very curious. I feel like I definitely did this. Really can't stand you. Th these fights, I think these fights might be worse than Godskin Duo. Like, these fights are just fucking stupid. Like, oh, how engaging. Let me just run in a circle until it stops. Uh, Fabricio, I'm sorry to say that you may be bugged. That quest is bugged at the moment. It doesn't work for some people. Like, I wish I had better news, but sometimes it just, it just isn't working. That was a good hitbox. Yeah, Fabricio, like, I'm not trying to tell you just to, like, give up and stop, but, like, if it's not happening right away and you have, like, done the whole quest line up until that point, good chance it's just bugged. I'm going to check my notes. I don't know if I ever did this. Somber stone. I did. No, I didn't. In my notes, I have me getting this in the mountaintops of giants. Unless my notes are just wrong. Maybe I didn't do this. No problem, Fabrizio. Sorry I don't have better news.
Ah! Oh! Check my talismans. Which one am I looking for? Uh, Lunans are, so, the one you feed grapes to is a different woman. They share the same model, but it is a different person. But, uh, Scorpion, so I just got, oh. So, okay, I know for a fact I didn't get the Arsenal Charm plus one until just now. Like, I 100% did not find that until just now. No way. Um... But yeah, I just don't know if I ever did this. I did this tunnel at all. She only shows after she dies? That makes so much fucking sense. Uh, for... Brizio, she's asking. Uh, this is the gargoyle greatsword, right? The reason I came here is to kill Morgoth. Am I like the blood builds? No, I don't use a blood build. Huh? I know they have the same model. Do they have the same voice? I would have to watch the credits again to see if they have the same voice actress. Yeah, that it does make sense. It does make a lot of sense, guys. Huh. Oh, uh, all right. Let me kill this uh, this guy, and then I'll go back for Alexander. Yeah, Fabrizio, they're saying that it might be the same person possessed by Shabriri, but I don't know because Shabriri straight up says he's Shabriri. You know. It is the same voice, different accent, though. I'm almost positive it's the same guy. But yeah, Shabriri says he's Shabriri. So that, I don't know. But, you know, maybe Shabriri brings her back to life as a maiden somehow? I don't know. But, you know, when he possesses Yura, he's wearing the same shit. Like, he's, you know, just... Kind of reanimated. <laughs> How do you prove your worth? Because he's always just said, Hello, I'm Shabriri. <laughs> Oops. Did not mean to do that. Stupid. You can summon for this? No way. No, I'm, yeah, fucking toast. Ugh. Oh, thanks, Asado. I don't know. Streaming Elden Ring's fun. Yeah, I feel like the only other people that make it up north are that samurai guy. Oh, I didn't realize it was like right here.
Millicent makes it up there. That's true. I gotta let my dog out. One second, Theodore. What was that? Be right back. All right, I'm back. Yeah, gold mask Corheen, that's true. Um, I don't know if we'll get Demon Souls DLC. I feel like we would have gotten it already. It's just me, though. I will say, like, I'm a little nervous about the rumors of Blue Point making Dark uh, Bloodborne two, that makes me nervous. Fuck, dude. Thanks, man. That's a, that's a funny name. Uh, the The rumor is that they're doing both. The rumor is that they are doing Bloodborne Remake, or whatever, and Bloodborne 2. I am very nervous of anyone doing 
a Souls game that isn't directed by Miyazaki. Like I, I, I understand that Elden Ring was directed by Miyazaki and the guy who directed Dark Souls 2. But like without Miyazaki at the helm, I just don't think it works. Why do they all just drop from the sky? Am I going the right way? Yes. Oh, I actually have an idea. All right, we're going to do a tiny, tiny little detour here. Not even a detour. Demon Souls did do uh, Blue Point. Wow, I'm getting tired. Blue Point did do Demon Souls. I was talking about more Bloodborne 2. I have full faith in, in Blue Point for doing a remake of anything, their own title, whatever. But it makes me nervous to think about Bloodborne 2 not being directed by Miyazaki. That seems risky. All right, how do you do this plunging attack that Vadi was showing today? No, shit. Whatever, never mind. Not important. Yeah, I don't really want either. Like, neither of them are important to me. Play Bloodborne at 30 FPS. I mean, sometimes 20, being frank. Who, who cares? Just play the damn game. It's still good. It's perfectly playable. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh! Whoa. That was greedy. He was just going for it. Steam Deck Bloodborne, that'd be cool. Do you have a Steam Deck? Do you like it? Killa, that's the other rumor, is that uh, they might be redoing Metal Gear Solid 1. Whoa, he is crazy weak to Scarlet Rot. Cool. Couldn't get it off. Whoa. All right.
I kind of refuse to believe it's the ghost, but the fact that I now don't have music on and I heard the, like the, that, I think it's the ghost. I was thinking maybe the sentry torch would reveal it. All right, whatever. That's disappointing. Yeah, I, I noticed that last time that the dialogue stops. I just kind of didn't want to believe it. Like, it seemed better. <laughs> it seemed better if, if it'd be something hidden. All right, let's, uh, let's kill the dumbass magma worm now, I guess. I think it's good that From is going back to something else. And that, you know, they're not just making another... I mean, don't get me wrong. Elden Ring, unreal. So good. But I am glad that, that they're getting to do something else. Oh, boy. I might be kind of fucked here. Anyway, I think it's good that they're working on something else, truly. Like, get, you know, let them, let them do something else. They've spoiled us enough with, uh, with these games, you know? Oh, I'm out of mana. Shit. No, not the telescope, you dumbass. I can't stand these things, dude. I can't stand them. These are, like, literally the least fun field bosses in the whole game. Every time I saw one, I just rolled my eyes. Although, Hot Girls and Boys is here, so I think we'll get it. Wow, that was a very long buffer of a, of a jump there. There you go. There you go, sweetheart. Fucked. I'm fucked. Wow, I can't believe I just survived that. Oh, thank God. I, I typically do fight them on foot. I, I just don't like them. So I was just like, whatever. What is he doing right now? <laughs> ah, good sir. What business might
might you have in such a place as this? I hardly think you're here to temper yourself with flame, considering that fleshly form of yours. Your timing, though, is impeccable as ever. I've been making just the thing for you on my journey here. Take it. I'm sure it'll suit you to a T. That's where you get it. Okay. I won't be able to temper my body such that it'll never crack again. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burned roars. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught Above the lofty Wow. Cool. Um, okay. More got. Reminds me of the Gorons in uh, Breath of the Wild with their uh, games of pain endurance. I think sci-fi Elden Ring could be pretty cool. Uh, Scorpion, yes, I, I was aware of that. I haven't done that, but I, I did know. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So, Killa, if you actually get them to drop their armor, you can learn a little bit about them and that the armor... Oh, shit. They're kind of like the Piazzas in Dark Souls 1 where, like, you can't hear it yourself... But the armor says that if you listen closely, you can hear what sounds like crying inside. So, they're sort of like the Piazzas. Most thanks for bringing me to the base here and thus. I shall do farewell. I shall leave. I wish you You have. I have no. I wasn't the biggest fan of Jedi Fallen Order, but I had a very strange experience with it where I was encountering bugs left and right. So, I don't know. Ugh! How do I dodge the lightning without even looking at the guy and I can't dodge an arrow? Anyway, yeah, I, I encountered, like, a bunch of bugs in Fallen Order, so I had a weird experience with it. I, I wasn't a big fan.
I had um. So what's funny is my guide for um the second sister. My guide for that boss still gets a ton of views. I shouldn't say a ton. Just steady. It still it still gets views to this day and comments. Lightsaber customization was cool, but it felt like conflicted. Like the game, you know, presents you with a choice very early on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. You get to that cave where you get to pick a crystal, and, like, the game tells you, like, you're locked into this choice. It's a very important choice. And then, like, it's not. Like, you can change it at any time. It just feels so weird. Like, I, I, I oh. I keep forgetting. I'm so used to playing this game without summons that I just keep forgetting to summon them. But anyway, yeah, it, like, it makes the, it makes you feel like, you know, picking your color is this big choice, and then they, it doesn't matter. You know, it, that that felt really strange to me. It doesn't say you're locked, but like the dialogue in the game, I remember f making, I remember like talking with my friends about this, like it makes it seem like you're gonna be locked. I'd have to go back and see it again, but like it definitely made it seem like you were gonna be locked in. Yeah, it, it, it means a ton lore wise for sure. And I don't know, I just, Game is okay. Game is okay. Came out three years ago. No sense complaining about it now. Forced to be good was your complaint. Yeah. Yeah. I am afraid that in Obi Wan, they're going to reuse the plot. That, like, you know, the, the Inquisitor in the trailer says, like, their code is a disease or whatever. Like, I have a feeling that they're going to try to kill somebody, and then Obi-Wan's going to be standing there, and whether or not he does anything, like, because that's literally how Fallen Order opens, you know? But, who knows, maybe Obi-Wan doesn't do anything, you know? Maybe that's the difference. Maybe that's the Obi-Wan difference, you know? I'm going to kill this guy with Briar Armor. It's going to happen. I'm just going to roll into him until he dies. Or she. There we go. What's a Claymore game? Yeah, Scorpion. It was stuff like that. Like, they really play up the the importance. I, I don't know, man. Like, I think aside from Book of Boba Fett, everything has been a banger. Like, they, they've been doing good for Star Wars, on Disney Plus specifically. <laughs> But, but, Ewan McGregor is my celebrity man crush. Has been for years, since I was a kid. So, I am biased. Oh, wrong button. Um, I thought the new trilogy was not good. Thought it had some cool ideas. 
The foot. Always look at the foot. Anyway, I thought... Oh, I keep forgetting. Bro, I can't believe this guy does fucking no-handed cartwheels. He's, he's like Simone Biles over here. Um, yeah, I, I thought the new trilogy was... I liked Force Awakens quite a lot, even though it was... There was a lot of rehashing. I didn't care. I thought it was good. Last Jedi was pure garbage. Um, and, you know, Rise of Skywalker or whatever. Just not, not great. Hey! Whoa. Melina goes gangster wild with it. Yeah, I have, like, the same complaints as everybody else about Last Jedi. Like, you know, they changed Luke to be... I don't know, like, everything seems in conflict with itself. Like, the ideas seem in conflict, so... It's just, I don't know. Like I think I think it would have been totally fine for Luke to be like the Yoda, like reluctant, doesn't want to train anybody. That's fine. But like the character just like makes no sense. Me, you are unable the thorns. A husk, the only way and become my purpose. So I'd like you to the flame then. And like, you know, somehow the Emperor return. Like Word? <laughs> Word. Alright. Sure. I guess. Oh, dude, Scorpion. Like, the fact that they teased that lightsaber at the, the last scene, the last frame? Ugh. Uh, what am I doing? Last scene, last frame, best lightsaber in existence. Never, never to be seen again. Great job. Oh, you, you answered my question, John. I'm sorry. Japanese manga centered around a group of female superpowered warriors who go hunt demon-like creatures. Medieval Witcher, but with more powers. That's cool. So, uh, Lunazar, I said on Twitter, I think it was like, maybe it was, you know, once Mandalorian started showing up in Book of Boba Fett, where I was like, look, I, I don't ever bang with the pro, with like, you know, the petitions or anything. But like, you just need to let John Favreau and 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 Dave Filoni do a sequel trilogy. Like, just just cancel it. Like, bring bring those characters back. Like, you have incredible talent in the sequel cast. You have Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, Adam Driver, Harrison Ford, rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. Like, y you know, like you have incredible talent. And like it's just it's just fucking wasted. It it is wasted. It's completely wasted. But yeah, I normally don't get on board with like, you know, petitions like that. I think it's largely a waste of time, but shit, man. I would sign it. Like I I'm on board. They did do Carrie Fisher dirty, man. Like Okay, I get it. You know, she's, and again, like, w I was having this conversation in, in the Elden Ring Detox Diner the other night with my friend, and we were talking about how, like, it makes perfect sense for Carrie Fisher 
to like be force sensitive. She is the daughter of Anakin fucking Skywalker. Like, of course that makes sense. Why is John Boyega sudden, like why is Finn force sensitive all of a sudden at the end? And if you think about it, if you think about it, all they're doing is rehashing Return of the Jedi. Like, at the end of Return of the Jedi, when the Death Star blows, Han says to Leia, I'm sure Luke wasn't on that thing. Leia looks up and says, he wasn't, I know, or whatever, like, she knows, and she says, like, I can feel it, and then they have the conversation, and she goes, no, he's my brother, whatever, but she becomes Force-sensitive at the end of Return of the Jedi, and then now Finn becomes Force-sensitive at the end of Rise of Skywalker, for no fucking reason. What's the reason? It does nothing for the plot, it does nothing for the character. And bro, why is Ray like why can she heal everyone? Like what? What the fuck? Like the force powers that come out of this shit. And I'll tell you I'll tell you right now. I will tell you guys right now. As excited as I am for Obi-Wan, I am nervous because we know, am I going the right way? We know for a fact that Hayden Christensen is in this series. And so me and my friend were talking like, okay, so how do they do this, right? Like, do is Hayden Christensen in the suit? Or is there like some sort of forced communication between Obi-Wan and, you know, Vader slash Anakin? How are they going to handle this? I am terrified that they are going to bring back this fucking force I don't know, weirdness that, like, where, you know, Ray and Kylo Ren could fucking see each other. Like, that, maybe that's how they're going to explain it, but I don't know. And, yeah, I get, I get that the that the powers they showed in, the, in those movies are all canon. I get that. <sighs> where did Ray learn any of it? Like... <laughs> You know, like, why is she able to do the things she does if Luke basically refused to train her the whole fucking time and then she bounces? Like... <sighs> it fucking drives me nuts. It drives me absolutely fucking nuts, man. Drives me insane. Drives me fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> like, okay. This, this is what I'm talking about with, like, the inconsistencies in in Rise of Skywalker. Is that even the name of it? I, I always forget the name of that movie. Is it Rise of Skywalker? <sighs> anyway. the One of the inconsistencies is, like, okay, when Rey thinks that Chewie is on that, like, Empire slave ship, whatever, she, you know, like, fucking, you know, she tries to force pull it down, struggles, and then the lightning just comes out of her, right? Like... That makes sense. Like, she is not able to control her own power. She does not know her own capabilities. That makes sense. Where the fuck did she learn how to heal on command? How did she learn to give someone an object via force telepathy? Like, okay, so she can just move a lightsaber lit a lit lightsaber through space time got it <laughs> like what what oh my god dude drives me insane
John, that there's a lot of ways you can explain it. There's a lot of ways you can explain it. I just don't think anything or, or any of them are satisfying. Yeah, do like the the whole plot is just fucking stupid. It, the whole plot is bad. The whole plot of that movie sucks. And like, what what? <sighs> what makes me wonder is like, okay, when. When they greenlit the trilogy, they did. They were like, okay, we're going to have three different directors. That is worrisome, right? But at the very least, J.J. Abrams set up a lot of really good plot points. Set up Luke's lights or Anakin's lightsaber. Again, we have no idea to this day where that came from. You know, there's the mystery of Rey, there's all sorts of shit. But then it went to Ryan Johnson, and it, he just shit the bed. And then Colin Trevorrow was like, "Nope, <laughs> I don't want any fucking part of this." And like, can you blame him? You know, like I can't blame him. Is it... Um, yeah, you know, just. But then when it came to you know Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> JJ didn't do anything with his own plot threads. Like, why not? You know, like, why not? They were his plot threads, and he did nothing with them. So that just makes me think, like, the whole thing was not planned at all. Like, you you know, I don't think the, the prequels the movies are that great. I think George Lucas is not a good director. I think he's a pretty good writer. You know, Lawrence Kasdan is why the the original trilogy was so good after A New Hope. Like, A New Hope is corny, but like, you know, was that it? No. A New Hope is is, is corny, but Empire and Return of the Jedi are just out of this world. And it's because of Lawrence Kazan, but, like, the prequel trilogy at least had a plan. You know, like, it was planned. Oh, shit, you can see everything from here. I didn't know that. Cool. <sighs> All right. <gasps> Whoa. Yo. <laughs> okay. Yo. How did he heal? Did he flask when I was rubbing my glasses? Whoa! Whoa!
dude, this guy's this guy fucks. Wow. That was cool. Well, wait. Garish silver armor decorated with red embellishments passed down through the Hoslow family. When Juno Hoslow received an invitation to the Volcano Manor, he discreetly refused. I've already walked many a road drenched in blood, yet never would I consider myself a champion. A twin-tailed silver helm, de helm decorated with flowery adornments, symbol of the head of the revered house of Hoslow. Juno Hoslow had a younger brother who was all talk and no trousers. His inability to commit to action was such that Juno inherited the Hoslow legacy without resistance, granting him the freedom to shower his little brother with adoration. So who we killed is Dialos's older brother. Metal whip metal whip formed of razor sharp chain link blades that have the appearance of flower petals. This work of art is handed down through the generations of the illustrious House Hoslow. High dexterity is required to wield this weapon, but it excels at inflicting devastating blood loss. The ha tale of House Hoslow is told in blood. Okay. Okay. All right. that you stayed the path of champions this is your usual reward please take it perhaps you are ready might you see our lord our lord will no doubt welcome you another kindred spirit treading the path of champions Kenobi comes out uh, May 20th I think all right, so this sends me right to Rikard, right? We gotta get all the gods together. Yes, as it should be. Now, close your eyes for a moment. I will transport you to the Lord's chamber. Farewell, then. May your visit be fruitful. I really like that there are various ways to skip by dungeons. I think that's really cool. Won't you consider how our Lord will no doubt... Welcome. 
Look at you. A recusant through and through. I knew you had it in you. Take this. A special invitation to hunt some of the first tarnished who sat at the round table hold. If you should accept, I'll next see you on the field of battle. You're still alive, I see. Well, I'm just reading about Raya. Fuck. Oh, shit. I fucked it up. Apparently, if you finish the contracts and get teleported to Rykard, Raya's quest line gets cut. Ugh. Ah, it's you, is it? I'm terribly sorry. But would you mind giving me some time to myself? I haven't achieved anything at all thus far. Even though I've dirtied my hands time and time again, I'm still yet to achieve anything. Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. As things stand, I've given up on the path of revenge and sullied the name of my house. What an easy mark I must have been. How did it take me so long to realize, honestly? There's just no end to my foolishness, is there? Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. What an easy mark I must have been. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, so apparently if you finish the contracts to the point where you're able to be teleported, maybe not. Hang on. Um, oh, it's you. Hang on. Forgive me. My mind never ceases to turn of late. Hmm. Well, I know I can trust you. I saw something slithering in the pitch black of night. It entered the room next to this one and never came out. If I'm not mistaken, it took the form of a serpent, just like me. Does the volcano manor hide some secret that Lady Tanith has kept from me? I realize that I shouldn't impose, but if you discover anything, would you please share? The serpent that lurked in the shadows that night, it entered the room next to this one and never came out. Perhaps the manor yet holds some secrets. If you discover anything... All right, let's see. Please... Apparently, Tanith, after she starts teleporting you... Tanith will not talk about anything else. I had a hint there. The serpent that lurked in the shadows that night, it entered the room next to this one and never came out. Perhaps the manor yet holds some secrets. If you discover anything, would you please share? The serpent that it entered the perhaps the manor yet holds. If you discover anything, 
Hmm. Maybe I need to open the door? The wiki says just reach this site of grace and then go back to her. Sounding an alarm? That was weird. So it says... She will be in human form in the same room where she was seen in her snake form. She complains about hearing noises in the adjacent room. A clue to the secret passage therein. She asks you to investigate, to proceed in the quest line, enter the illusory wall in the room right of hers, and reach the Grace in Prison Town Church. Return to, to Zariah and tell her what you have seen to continue. Uh, John, the one in Moonlight Altar is bugged. It entered the perhaps if you discover it. There we go. You have to open the door. Really? Oh, so there was a secret after all. Oh my. Lady Tanith, my own mother, has deceived me. Was I not? Whom by the grace of a king? Lady Tanith, was I not? Whom? Won't you consider our lord? I see. But do know to follow the path of valor in order to defy this debasement. Like a true recu... Won't you consider having... Mm. Okay. Okay. Now let's go kill Godskin. Um, yes, John, that area. I'll show you on the map. It's right here. Chelona's Rise. That's the one that's bugged. To be real honest with you guys, I kind of forget where to go in this place. Ow. Oh, right. Through that building. Yeah, John, for, for myself and a bunch of other people, like, you only kill one of the turtles and then it opens. Like, there's something weird about the other turtles. Some people don't kill any turtles and it's just open for them. I landed right on the railing. Whoa, what? I don't think I ever noticed their faces do that. Whoa, I never noticed that. That's cool. Ah, 
Oh, uh, you know what I just noticed? So, you know, they're called Godskin, right? And these guys are serpents, but they have sort of the same moves as the Godskin Apostles. Like, their bodies move in the same way. Does that imply that the serpents are gods? Yes, the grab attack I'm aware of. I've I've gotten eaten by that a couple times. You know, Hot Girls and Boys is getting militant tonight. Like, usually they just show up once. Okay. I, I can't believe how much damage that does. Get him, Teak. Go get him, Tiger. Did you guys just see it heal? Am I crazy? Did it just heal? It did it again! What is happening? sense no it was sudden like it, it just moved amnion from the mother's womb which cradled the poor unwanted offspring of a repellent birthing ritual never dry out remaining damp infant okay this makes a lot more sense excuse me Is this? I remember this sense distinctly. Hmm. Funny, isn't it? I am certain of it. Who remembers the smell of an amniotic sac? Inside this, it's a part of my birth mother. You have my gratitude. Thanks to you, 
I am no longer afraid. I want to know how I was born and met Lady Tanith. One day, I hope to call her mother once again. This time from the bottom of my heart. I want to know how I was born and met Lady Tanith. One day, I hope to call her mother once again. This time from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, Scorpion, that's what the wiki says. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping the patch made that no longer the case. Won't you consider our Lord will I see but do know this to follow the path in order to do like a Reading the wiki on it. Okay. Alright, so it doesn't really do much. Oh, no. Well, it's fine. Yep, 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 yep. I know the room they're referring to, like, in the wiki. I just can't really remember how to get to it. It's got, like, a lot of candles on the floor. So the thing that, this is a little frustrating that I did all this and fucked it up, but the thing that, I, I can't believe I didn't get that item. The thing that I'm curious about is the, the potion of forgetfulness. I think there's someone else you could probably give it to, because there's an option to give it to Korheen. He won't take it, but you do have the option. Oh, fuck. Whoa.
Is this the place with the Iron Maiden or the Iron Virgin? This is definitely the place behind the fog wall with the Iron Virgin. Wow. That's impressive. I'm gonna activate this elevator, see what's down there. Is that how you do box rebirth? Do you need that? So Raul, if you use the other stone, it doesn't indicate to you whether or not you'll survive. Rainbow stones tell you whether or not you're going to survive the fall. Yo! Why is there an Albinoric here? Yeah, so rainbow stones are very useful. Dude, I don't know if I ever found this. Never found this. Wow. Cool. Fucking every single time I play this game, man. Every single time. Find something new. Without fail. Oh, there was a ladder the whole time? The whole time! Of course. Albinorg blood clot. <laughs> All right. Lunanzar, have a good night. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining, especially for so long. Appreciate it. Oh, it's you. I'm afraid there is something I must tell you. I was an unwanted child, born not of grace, but of a hideous ritual, something that can never be accepted. Not by men, nor serpents. Even Lady Tanith shouldn't accept me. I know that you have done so much for me, but I wish to ask one last kindness. Kill me, please. I thought that I feared nothing, but this, free me from this accursed frame. I know that you have done so much for me, but I wish to ask one last kindness. Kill me, please. I thought that I feared nothing, but this, free me.
from this accursed frame. What bandit is this talking about in her quest line? Oh, Eric. Thanks, man. Glad to have been helpful to you. All right. Uh, so, Bernal, Vagram, the Raging Wolf, Errant Sorcerer, Willem, Master Willem, I've come to take my leave. Oh yes, I know, I know. <laughs> How about these guys blow bubbles? <laughs> I'm glad you understood the reference, John. Oh, I know, I know. Like, he saw this coming, you know? Oh, I know, I know. Oh, shit. 2v2? Alright, boys. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa, the raging wolf! Wow, they locked that set behind this quest? Shit. Ooh, that was nice. What is that? Oh, it spawns behind him. One. Yeah! <laughs> Done that to me enough times. Oh, I know, I know. Remember the old adage. Born of the blood made med of the blood. The Raging Wolf set. Helm worn by Vagram the Raging Wolf, one of the first tarnished to visit the Round Table Hold. Vagram's nickname comes from the White Wolf's mane that decorates this helm. According to old legends, wolves are the shadows of the Empyrean, and this is what Vagram, Vargram aspired to be. Cool. I do that every time. I think the bonfire is in there. It is not in there. So stupid. I really got to make a guide for this last painting. 
keep forgetting to do that. Uh, okay, volcano. Alright, and then we kill Rykard. Whoa. Still alive, I see. Well, until we meet again. Dude, I am so pissed. I, oh, God damn it. Why did I do that? I just wanted to back up, reset what he was grumbling about. Won't you consider having an Our Lord will know. Fuck. <laughs> There's like no other way to say it. If he's already here, I'm gonna be pissed. Like... Pissed. It means I gotta redo this whole goddamn thing. Just for one line of fucking dialogue.
Oh man, I'm fucking tight. Oh, God, I'm so tight. I walked into the room. Diallos was muttering. I walked out and rested at a side of grace to reset it. This way I could, like, actually capture it because I started talking to somebody else. And when I rested, he moved. He's no longer there. So now I, I can't see the dialogue. I'm going to check uh, games from Mars. It's... I'm watching it now. Okay, well, it's actually not the end of the world. I don't think I actually missed any dialogue there. I, I missed the muttering. That's about it. It seems to be it. Yeah, say it. I've been going a while. I'm gonna actually stop pretty soon. Okay, this is where he was. All right, so I guess I didn't actually miss anything. 
I just missed the muttering. Which is weird, because he didn't mutter last time, but the dialogue seems to be the exact same. Cos, what are you doing here? I didn't think anyone knew about this place, except us jars. Ah, are you going to be the new potentate? Gosh, truly, that's wonderful news. It's not easy being potentate, though. I know. Show me your hands. It's just a little test, Cos to see if you've got the right stuff. Hmm. Your skin isn't so smooth, is it? You need slick, slidey hands to be potentate, you know? I'm sorry, cuz. But I don't think you've got what it takes. This all makes sense. Don't look so glum, cuz. We can still chat. Potentate or not. This all makes Come sense. Me, when you can. Diallos has soft hands. Don't look so glum, cuz. We can still chat. Potentate or not. Come back and visit me. When you... Again, cuz. I'm happy you came back. I have good tidings for you, cuz. Have you noticed the rare flowers growing in this village? I asked the villagers if you could pick some of them, and they said you'd be very welcome. Go on, cuz. You really should pick some of our flowers. Who knows? They might be of some use. Who knows? Ah, oh, hello again. Say, cuz, have you met Uncle Alexander? He used to live here with us, but then he left to be a champion. I asked to go with him, but he said, the path of champions must be trod alone. So heroic, right? I miss him, though. If you see him, you should ask him to teach you how to fight, cuz. He's big and tough and strong. Uncle Alexander said he won't be back again. My home is of the past, and the past, as they say, is a different country. I suppose that's part of being a warrior, isn't it? So, please don't tell anyone, cuz. But I'm actually a warrior jar as well. One day, I'll be just like Uncle Alexander, and I'll have to leave the village. To become a champion. 
Uncle Alexander won't come back here again. My home is of the past. And the oh, it's all so sad. Is cause they hunt us, smash us, and then take us away. This village is kept secret, so I think we're safe here. But you should be careful if you ever meet one of them, cause I hope Uncle Alexander beats them all up first. Those awful poachers. I hope Uncle Alexander beats them all up. Poachers? I don't know who he's referring to. Oh, hello again, cuz. Have you heard? A new potentate's come to the village. I think he said his name was Dialos. He seems a little down in the dumps, but his hands as smooth as silk. I don't know. I'm a little disappointed, actually. Even though good Sir Dialos has a wonderful suit of armor, he says he isn't a warrior. And since he's a coward, he won't be fighting anymore. His smooth and silky hands feel nice when he pats us. But I wish we had a potentate big and strong like you. Dialysis' smooth and silky hands feel nice when he pats us. You full of beans. No wonder you're covered in muck. Oh, my friend, it's been far too long. I have to say you caught me at a rather low point. But as you see, I put all that behind me. Left the volcano manor, forging my own path now, making my own choices. Even a fool like me can look after some simple jars. Do you pity me? Well, don't. I feel like for the first time in my life, I'm on the straight and narrow. A fool I may be, but I can look after some simple jars. Do you pity me? Well, don't. I feel like for the first time in my life, I'm... Their bodies are extremely fragile. This is true. Dialysis is smooth, but I wish we had. A fool I may be. Do you pity me? Is that it? What is the trigger to get him to leave? Uh, yes, John, you do. You damage anything. Oh, 
palaces, but I wish we had. What is the trigger? Is it killing Rykard? Does that do it? I feel like I should probably upgrade this sword. I have a feeling the trigger is actually Alexander. But we'll kill Rikard. We'll kill Rikard anyway. Well, that's nice. It doesn't give you another one. I feel like whenever you play Demon Souls or Dark Souls 3, you have like six storm rulers by the time you're done playing the game. Okay. Dude. This boss really, really annoys me. What just killed me? Oh, God. Yeah, I just I just pushed it to, to plus nine. I am noticing that it's barely doing any stagger damage now, though. That could be a new game plus thing.
So, I know the L2 is a two-hit combo. I, I, I am aware. But on New Game Plus, he seems to recover too fast. So... I ain't dealing with that shit today. No, thank you. Hey, Byron. It seems to be killing Rykard as the trigger. Oh, cuz, I'm glad you came. But we're fine now. Dialos bought the poacher, though quite a lot of us got broken. <laughs> I won't cry, though. I'm a warrior, Jar. A warrior. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. That's the kind of warrior I want to be one day, cuz. Even if I'm scared, I'll still fight to protect everyone. The tale of House Hoslo... Ah, uh, Scorpion, it only works in the boss room. That's the kind of warrior I want to be one day, cuz. Even if I'm scared, I'll still fight to protect everyone. Ah. You. Uh, the jars. Are they all right? Did I defend them? Then all is well. This fool proved his worth in the end. The tale of house that's the kind of warrior I would Yeah, I can't believe you who would say no? <laughs> like who would let this guy die with no hope? I'm doing that on New Game Plus too. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. That's the kind of warrior I'm going to be. One who protects everybody. The tale of House Hoslo is... That's the kind of warrior. One who... 
I thought you get his armor. Replica of a twin-tailed silver helm with flowery adornments, only without the twin tails. Diallos Hoslow had an older brother who was a stern, self-possessed man of few words. His achievements made him seem out of reach. And so the younger aspired to be like the older, yearning for the day that he would tell the tale of House Hoslow in blood, knowing full well that it would break his brother's heart. Oh my god, with the sadness, Jesus! That's how you get the other one. So where does Jar Barn go? journey as a warrior jar upon the path of champions i'm about to go on a journey as a warrior jar in search of glory all right so we got to complete Alexander now. Oh, thanks, Byron. You're not willing to kill me, are you? <laughs> Evil is being so kind and uncompromising. I suppose I knew in my heart of hearts how kind and uncompromising you always were. I haven't gotten the insides yet. I wish to set out on a journey so that one day I can carry our mother's work. Be the proud daughter of Tanith of Volcano Manor. Farewell, you've always been so kind, so uncompromising, my champion.
data cars woe. Disturbing likeness of a woman whose skin was flayed. She smiles with a serene tenderness. It is said that this woman, named Daedica, indulged in every form of adultery and wicked pleasure imaginable, giving birth to a myriad of grotesque children. Jesus! Alright. You. It's true, then. You've defeated our lord. No. I must thank you. Our lord was yet weak. You have taught us that. Defeat is not the end. Our lord is immortal, and will one day rise again. Stronger. Until then, I must stay the path and do my part. I will leave the Volcano Manor before long. I suggest you do the same. I will miss these encounters. The champion who walks the tainted path... Oh, Big Bad Rex. I'm actually about to sign off. It's 5.10 here. This is farewell. Perhaps we will meet again along the path. Gone and killed Rykard. <laughs> you scheming little bastard. Cripes, you make this nonsense seem well <laughs> less nonsensical. Perhaps a tarnished will be Elden Lord after all. But for now, this manor is finished. The demigod beast is slain, and Tanith has lost her head. A fine mess. But how else could it end? When Daddy Ambition's head over heels courting Lady Blasphemy. <laughs> well, here I am, untethered once again. Goodbye, my friend. What is it? Oh, come to make a parting donation to Patch's Emporium. Stingy little beggar. I know, I'm a stingy little beggar. I know, I know, I know, I know. So, you killed Rykard. I harbor you no ill will. The strong take. Such is our code. Even he was prepared to meet a wretched end when he first took blasphemy unto his very flesh. But any road, the Volcano Manor is no more. Though we may yet fulfill an old promise. We hunted our own kind and took what was theirs. And with everything in hand, the time has come to rise against the Erd Tree. O oh, greater will, hear my voice. I am the recusant Bernal, inheritor of my brother's will. And you will fall to my blade. We refuse to become your pawns. Consider this fair warning. O oh, greater will, hear my voice. I am the rec we refuse to become your... Okay. Damn, this quest was a lot longer than I thought. Like, this whole mix of quests between this and Alexander, it's a lot. This is a lot of quests here. All right, here's what I need to do. I need to, to stop, like I, I need to stop. So I'm going to stop. I need to get Patch's new dialogue in Shaded Castle. 
and then I need to finish Alexander. So I fight Alexander. I summon Alexander for Fire Giant. And then I end his quest line in Crumbling Farm Azula. Now, here, here's the little bummer, right? Well, no, Malekith is what pushes things, right? Like, if I light the flame... Oh, that's cool. So, he will invade even if you've killed Malekith now. That's cool. His little prayer at the end there, to me, makes it make sense why he has the medallion or whatever, the, the claw... Like, he's ready to fight against the Erd Tree, which involves exposing the Rune of Death. But is it killing Malekith that does it? Because... Uh. Well, I don't know. What I'm sort of contemplating over here, right, is, you know, I've done the Volcano Manor quest line. I've now done the Alexander quest line for the most part. Patches, Jar Barn. If I go to Farah Mazula, will the Ronnie quest line. Wait, homeboy's probably dead already. Oh. I don't know. It's not the end of the world if I got to redo a quest. Not a big deal. I'll figure it out. I just... What I'll do is I'll, I'll continue this. I'll do Alexander, and then we'll see what happens. Because I would like to, like, not have to redo everything again. Okay, I've played through this like seven or eight times now for these quest lines. Anyway, not a big deal. Figure it out. All right, I'm going to stop streaming, though. Thank you all so much for watching. I've really been enjoying streaming Elden Ring, figuring all this stuff out with everybody. It's been a lot of fun. All right, have a great night. For those of you at work that I've been keeping awake, I hope you can stay awake through the rest of your shift. Uh, yeah, good luck. See you, everybody.